Whee! Hello, viewer. On this evening's live stream, we are discussing the latest news in the entertainment and on the social media. Today, it is Sunday, March the 17th, 2024. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I am Mr. Brune. And I trust you are all doing very well today. It was a week where shite happened in Hollywood, always does. And even more bad shite happened in real life, always does. Oh dear. So, as I always say, if you've not shut down for the evening, lots to get through. Shall we get the guest out? You know it, let's do it. Okay. First, he is the backbone of the channel. It is, it is. Professor Fozziatu. Hello there. there. Hello. Uh, since it's uh, St. Patrick's look Day, that, do, look at that. Since it's St. Patrick's Day, do, do do I get to use use a fake Irish accent without offending people? Uh, I offend people, so go for it. Oh, faith and begora. Oh, begora. <laughs> oh, begora. Welcome to the stream, <laughs> y'all. Don't be looking for me gold. That's very problematic, my friend. Ah, uh, you know. Are you well? Let's 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 go there. That's fine. Uh, oh, I'm we're not allowed. Great. We're not allowed to be funny. Not allowed nope. to have humor. We're not allowed nope. to take the mic. We're not allowed to uh, just be human yeah. for these. Anyway. Ah, uh, well, f it all. It's fine. <laughs> let's, let's let's move on. Who, who else we got coming on today? Great to have you, mate. We'll get the next peep out. Okay, he is the number one YouTube supermod. It is Sir Melvin of the Deeply. You're amazing. Emma, I'm, I'm shocking. I know that. How are we doing, people? How's things? Okay, are you? I am fan David Dozy. Okay, and on that bombshell, great to have you on, mate. Should we get the next peep out? Only if it's somebody good. I'll say it under the stream, folks. <laughs> okay, next. Great to have you on, mate. All the way from the land of Texas Shire. She is the queen of this channel. You know, it's Reniel. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Waka, waka. That's right. Good to be back, folks. Missed you guys. Hope everybody's doing Missed okay. Missed you more. Oh, thank you. Um, I noticed that you don't have your Fozzie Bear uh, avatar, but uh, R2 does. Are, are we going to switch that up there, Frank? Uh, great to have you on, Manny. Should we get this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to still hope. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to hope. Because you wish it, a... deal with it. Okay. Even if it's a fool's hope. Because you wish it. <laughs> because you wish it. I always okay. wish it. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Okay. Here we go. Getting Last... the next person out? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> Just looking at the script. Okay. Um... In fact, I was looking at the wrong person. I was doing the uh, Lord Platoon, but he's not here. F Next, watch out, War and Peace. He's the Star Wars novelist. It's the jester from Leicester. You know, it is Emperor Kipling. Bill, <laughs> good evening, Brown. Good evening to the chat. And good evening to the panel. I've been thinking again in the Death Star Canteen, Brown. And uh, I had to write up. A script for the commercial for my latest yourself, dessert okay. that I've devised. Would you like to hear it? Do I Do you have need a choice? some golem juice for that throat, sir? But for now, Still I'd like to make of the account of my new Filoni fancies, a confectionery masterpiece that embodies the elegance of the dark side. These dainty treats, like the galaxy itself, are cloaked in a delicate layer of girly fondant, concealing the soy richness within, all topped with a silly little cowboy hat. With every bite, you surrender to the temptation of flavors, a dance of sweetness and decadence that consumes you, swiftly followed with a deep sense of disappointment and regret. That's how feel... undeniable. And it beckons you to the Sith's delectable embrace until you realize you have grown a set of man wolves <laughs> and it's all too late. Subscribe to Disney Plus now and let the indulgence begin. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like Tally from South Park. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Great to have you on, Kippers. <laughs> yes, I'll get on with it. No, I've been waiting for you. Okay. Um, oh, look who's here, everybody. Look who's oh yes, yes, look who's here, everybody. Next, he's and I know you'll like me saying this. Next, he's I can't even speak, I'm so emotional. Next, he's the bad boy of YouTube. It's Echo, 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 Echo. Bad boy Chamberlain. What's up, hey, bad boy? What's up? <clears throat> yeah, just enjoying Emperor Kipling's uh, Danny DeVito impression. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm your uh, your hemisphere diversity hire from uh, the southern hemisphere. So yeah, it's from the, the southern panel. hemisphere, everybody. Just uh, we do the right things on this channel. Mm -hmm. How is the southern hemisphere? You know, it's all right. Uh, that thing has happened, which is always like a kind of. Um, a death knell for our summer, which is when Americans start talking about uh, March Madness. That's like a phrase that means that our summer is winding down. Oh, it's um, <laughs> four days to go. Oh, sorry, mate. It's all right. <sighs> but uh, yeah, pleasure to be back on. Uh, we just finish it. There? It's been a while. Yeah. Can I say something or ask something on the subject of hemispheres? No bother. Is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no bother. Is, no bother. Uh, is anything in the news involving Sydney Sweeney this week? <laughs> oh, Lord. God bless her. <laughs> Put him tish. Hmm. I guess well, I'm uh, the only person here that isn't into boobs, but I mean. <laughs> Moving on. Bit... Moving on. Okay. Um, echo question. How many uh, subs have you lost this week? <laughs> no, um. It's a strange thing. My videos are getting less views, but my subscribers are going up fast. So I don't know what's going on. It's very strange. Huh. Damn. Well, that's yeah. something. It is yeah, genuinely it is. great to have you on, mate. Oh, it's genuinely great to be on. It's been a minute, as you say in America, and we never say in New Zealand. Shall we get the next peep out? I think we should. Good. Shall we? Yeah, do it. Okay. Next, last but by no means least... He is the wise elder of the channel. You know the rest. He is the great mega geek himself. Hum, 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 hum. Ian David Diaz. <laughs> Poor Ian. I say this, I've said this before. You you remind me of this irritating kid I used to know in school. <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> irritating. So freaking Look at this. irritating. No other person has this effect. Look. I don't even know if this is true or not. I don't even know these people. You're a real. legend. Probably all your, your own... ones. <laughs> you're a, you're a legend in your you. own life. <laughs> it's crap. <laughs> I don't know why you're That's not monet. You should be monetizing this catchphrase. There should be mugs and t-shirts. Uh, oh my gosh, yes. Oh my like gosh. maybe like a mug with a poop emoji on it. Let me tell it? you something, right? All this social even media thing is a trap, mate. I'm telling you. I'm telling it's you right trap. now. It really is. I can't be asked with any of it anymore. I come on Ian's channel, I go on Dan's channel. That's the that's it, mate, for me. Seriously. I want well, to take I'm a glad step you're back here. from all this crap. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I look at Facebook, right? And people are just telling you what they're doing every second of the day. Why? Oh, yeah. Why are they doing that? I don't want to It's know like, what... look at my sandwich. Look I don't at my cup yeah, of yeah. coffee. I'm, yeah. uh, you know, got, cozy in front want... of this building. Five minutes later, I'm over here on the park bench. Yes. Park bench. Well, if it's a really good looking girl, she's always on the <laughs> then it's pole, okay. It? Swinging around in the pole. Have you noticed that? Good looking girls always swinging around on the pole. I'm like, so in that, I remember in my day, swinging around on the pole was just not good, was it? I mean, for God's sakes, now they're, now it's something great, I guess. I don't know. I've noticed that in, in strip clubs, but not in the real world. I'm telling you, the, the amount of girls I know on Facebook that every time I click on it, they're swinging around on the pole with their ass out. Will you send me the link? Okay. Send me the links, links please. Yeah. <laughs> right, and, fact, uh, put them in the chat. <laughs> you uh, you have me on Facebook. Have I ever once done that on my? No, Facebook you haven't. Post? Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's just it's just like I have a lot of a lot of Facebook friends, but they're just they're not really friends. You know what I mean? They're just people that just they're just using you. Just, no, they're not using me, but they just want just to be, acquaintances. Yeah, just or just want to follow. Know. It's like well, ten minutes. That's you're not on Facebook. Talking, you're on. Not? 
You're on OnlyFans. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> not good. Not good. Anyway, carry on. I just thought I'd be an old man and moan today. There you go. Well, that's usually my job. Mm. Okay. It's great to have you on, everybody. Ten minutes. <laughs> One of the longest intros ever. So, shall we get on with well, it? There's seven of us, isn't there? So. There is. There is. No, I believe we can make it a 20-minute intro if we really believe. Okay, it'll take me 10 minutes <laughs> reading this. Waylon, <laughs> Thank you, Waylon. <laughs> Waylon Bofeeferth for $2. Show your furry ba- ass. No, because you wish it. Brown, somebody made you a really oh. cool Fozzie Bear avatar. I think you should use it to honor uh, the person. Okay, okay. Okay, she'll get on with it. You a dick. Move along. <laughs> I, do, I do it well. Evening Aww. chat. Sorry, it's taking a bit floppy. Just... <laughs> We're gonna blast. I love Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell's the I coolest do too. man on the earth. He's really cool. We'll blast through all this first because it's all the same shit, isn't it? Mm. Yes, Especially no. in Tombstone, he was fucking awesome in Tombstone. And okay. uh, that Quentin Tarantino Grindhouse movie, man. Thing pretty was pretty good. Mm. Tell them we're coming and hell's coming with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Triple Lord China's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it was good in if that I'd... too. Yeah, fuck the news. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only film he made that I really didn't like was right. Death Proof. Oh, I hate the That's the movie yeah. I was just talking about. Death Proof, know, he was great in it. But he I know was, it was, he was cute. good. I hated it was it. just a stupid yeah. story. It was he was good, but he stupid. was great in it. Yeah, he's he's never bad in a film at That's all. That's right. Never. You know, it's I just remember the to let him down. He done an interview and he was talking about one of the scenes where he was talking and he explained to Quentin Tarantino he just wanted to do it like John Wayne. He wanted to talk like John Wayne. Mm. And Quentin Tarantino said, "Just do it." And that's what he done. He just sat there and done his speech, just exactly like an impersonation of John Wayne, and it was great. Was that mm. the hate flight then? No, um, yeah, no. I've, ne- I've never it's seen Death Proof. Death Proof. Oh. Oh, I'll tell you what, brown. though. There was this film with him. <laughs> was it called the, the Christmas Chronicles or whatever it was? He played Santa. And I wasn't going to watch it. Then I heard it was Kurt Russell playing Santa. And I just had to watch it. And it was you a just good film. could not watch it, right? He was a good film. Yeah. It was. He was really what, good. The Chronicles of Riddick. No, I think it's the Christmas Chronicles or whatever that's it was tw- called. He played Santa. He was really quite cool. Uh, oh, that's um, 22 years old, that. Uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Can't believe it. To compliment, uh, I've been burgled. He was great in Hateful Eight. I really loved him in that movie. Mm. He Let's was. See. He was good. Okay. Shall we? There's, do... there's a scene in uh, Big Trouble in Little China Let's where he uh, he and, and Gracie reunite and then Gracie kisses him. Yeah. And then he embarks on a super staunch, ultra stylish. Uh, monologue to Lopan, but he's still got the bright red lipstick from yeah. the kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. the first scene from my childhood where I was almost breathless and apoplectic with laughter and sliding off the side of the couch uh, in in laughter because it was such. It's one of the funniest things I I've ever seen. He was a lot older. I, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, he is <laughs> such a good actor, right? In Big Trouble in Little China, there's a scene where he shoots somebody, kills someone, and I can't remember the other guy. He said to him, "Have you ever killed anyone before?" And he said. And he said, of course I have. But then you can see in his face that he hasn't. And he was lying to, mm-hmm. to emote that. I mean, mm-hmm. come on, you've got to be a really good actor to emote it. And he emoted it very well. You knew that was the first time he killed someone. I don't know if you remember that scene. In yeah, Big Trouble yeah in you're China. right. So he's a really good actor. He is a great actor. Yeah. Oh, the dog. Even the dog agrees. <laughs> yeah, uh, for some reason, um, you can hear a lot is that the going dog on from the thing? Is that the huskies? Yeah. Do you see what I did there? No. <laughs> <laughs> you remember something. I'm impressed when I do that. Okay. <laughs> shall we uh, shall we get on with it? Let's get Yeah, here past. we go. Look. Moving Damn. on. <laughs> no. no. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No. <laughs> it's going to be a 10-hour streaming coming. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Musings 193, today's date. Light oh my subscribe. God, I'm going to kill that dog. I'm, oops, Go sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll blast through these. Masters of the Air. Anybody watching it? It was nope. the finale. Nah, boring AF. Okay. Um, 
Episode was okay. The last few weeks, poor writing, etc., etc. Not enough depth of story. This week was a little better, but um, should have this should have been a quality series, but it suffered from modern day writing. I just don't think the people involved with this program had the chops, as it were, like when Band of Brothers was made. Um, if this had been made straight after Band of Brothers with um, early noughties writing, I think we might have been in a better place, but a lot of us were really looking forward to this. Massive disappointment. But anyway, okay, let's move on. Well, uh it's just amazing how cheap and it looks for its budget. It looks like that kind of twenty years ago Roland Emmerich Midway kind of <sighs> sheen to have it, which just looks fake. You know, like Did you watch it, Echo? You I watched watching? the first episode and I thought, what a colossally redundant exercise. They could have done something awesome. With yeah, this. but it's just yeah, so most it of the time you're me. yeah, you're in the cockpit and it's oh, twelve o'clock high and steady boys and. You don't feel any connection to anything. Yeah. And it's such an incredible period because the Schweinfurt raids and all those things, uh, mm. colossal in scale. It would have been incredible, but they just messed it up. Uh, you go, folks. Lord, wow. After Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers is a fantastic series. There was the Pacific. That was a bit of a mess too, yeah. Yeah, it was. <sighs> isn't it made by, isn't it made by um, Roland Emmerich and Dean Devlin? I'm not sure. No. I heard somewhere it is. No, is it just it? looks like it's made by them. On a kind Produced of by Spielberg and Tom Hanks. So they have their names on it, folks. Yeah, I just don't understand have that nominal either. And provisional letters. It, uh, it feels like it's produced by Forrest Gump, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. Like, I was with Echo here when I first saw the first episode. I'm like, this is Apple TV. I know they've got more money. I expect to see better effects. And I just, it was... A letdown, I, absolutely. I just think the writing let this down. I can see why HBO said no because it just wasn't there. So okay, yeah, the effects the effects weren't great. I, I haven't seen all the episodes, but yeah, the effects weren't great. But overall, it was just the writing that that bothered me. It just it wasn't there. <coughs> wasn't good. We were flying Tom Gump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on then. Um, a disappointment. Yeah. Um, am I the only one? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, we found Halo. Uh, spoilers, everybody. We found Halo. I have no idea how they found it, but we found Halo, and it's the series finale. Yeah. So, week. so Already? this is two two seasons. It took them to find the namesake of the show. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. What why a lame you, tagline. You, Look at that on the top of the poster. Bother, why Rise do you even from bother the watching fall. this shit? Seriously, why do you even bother watching new stuff anymore? Because it's, it's something to watch while I'm munching watch my Watch old toast. stuff, man. Watch old stuff. It's much better. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you grumpy enough as it is, Brown. Mega. Watch something you like. <laughs> Mega. Here is, here is why we watch new stuff, right? And the mm. off chance that something good comes along and it turns up we're not already dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. I just I can't be bothered with this new stuff anymore. Seriously, I tried um Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I tried one episode, and I thought that's the reason why I don't try new stuff because it's absolute shit. Do you know what I mean? So there you hey. go. Hey, oh. hello, <laughs> is it well, me well done, you're smiley. looking for? Mm. That's no. your boyfriend, Ian, isn't it? Didn't you uh, hold hands like... when you went to see Dune Two. Oh, that's so cute. Did you guys intimate in the I darkness am... together? <laughs> Ooh, did you do the popcorn trick on him? Mm. No, because we didn't have the buckets. Um, my <laughs> uh, my June or is it June joke is wearing a little bit thin with some people. Oh, Dude, it's really? Been over <laughs> forever and a day, bro. Um, Smilex, are we doing Ghostbusters? Anyway, okay. I I watched June and I really liked it. My husband really liked it too. Oh, is it June? Do one. you? It's yeah. Dune. It, it's part That's two good. as well. Part two, talking about. Yeah, I, we both enjoyed it. Um, and Hope my hubby you. actually read the books, and he, Hope you know, you. if you watch it with someone who read the books, they kind of tell you. you, "Oh, this is going to be good," or "Oh, that should have gone down like this," or "Oh, they did this right." And it's like, 
well, we know he really did read the books. So that's good. Well, well I, ho I hope you told him to shut up. I'm watching the movie. <laughs> I did, but you know, it was so cute. I couldn't help but to like, you know, yeah. let him do what he had to do. It was I really see. cute. <laughs> so Brown, you were uh, in the cinema together and there's just a single armrest between the chairs and there's a bit of mm -hmm. joking, what, kind what? of jostling. And then uh, after a bit of, you know, intimate touching and brushing of fingertips, your fingers interlaced together and there's a little moment. And, uh, and now you two are an item. So what's your you're name going to be in celebrity terms? It's going to you're be uh, you're going to be Brylex as your. Um, <laughs> 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 it's, it sounds like a window queen, a real like Brownex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I, <don't... laughs> I kind of like Brownex. Uh, it's a reverse clean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Tell us, really, Brown. Tell us. Shout the, the pick. Shout the pick on me for fuck's sake. <laughs> do you're used to it it's what you do um, come on hurry up what's the next thing Jesus fat <laughs> it's you not me fat oh, i didn't do nothing lobber shared the same bucket no they didn't have the uh buckets it's been blighted. they didn't have the the fleshlight no. bucket no what a rip off no, no. all right look okay. at the tagline in this poster rise from the fall while Brilliant. eating your toast Okay. Stand from the chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's watching this? Me. Is it any good? Uh, it's, mm. it's kind of two shows at once. One oh. part of the show is a complex um, court drama, which is intricate and kind of grounded in reality. And the other part of the show is these set pieces that are kind of a little bit goofy and, and affected and fantastical. And so they don't quite balance together, but it's beautiful to look at, and the acting is fantastic. Apart from the main dude, that Cosmo Jarvis guy. Yeah, he's a bit... I liked him in the first couple of episodes, but he kind of hams it up a bit, doesn't he? Mm. He's like... He's uh, trying to get that... Russell Crowe and Gladiator. Yeah, he's trying yeah. to get those, the deeper pitches in his voice. You really like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The whole time. I'm just always like Ian, yeah. where I'm nervous to watch anything new anymore for fear that it's going to suck. So I've been waiting to see what people say about this show, and I really haven't seen or heard much. So I haven't checked it out. Well, my well, the first two episodes were fantastic. I thought like nine mm -hmm. out of ten episodes. I think I've said this before. Really good, really good. But the director of those two episodes are not is not going to be back for the rest of the series. Oh, and the, the rest are a bit patchy. Episode two was really not very good, I thought, and episode three was okay right up until the final scene, which was just ridiculous. Sorry, episode um, four. Episode four was... I got confused there because I'm old. Episode three was not very good. Episode four was good until the final scene. There you go. Got it off my chest. Is it hey, worth well, watching, yes or no? It's worth watching. It, it is uh, because... I'm done. Get it watched. <laughs> you do have a moment's quite a lot of them actually, where you do have, just looking at the landscapes and the costumes and the big, um, uh, some of the well-rendered landscapes, you do have a genuine sense of, you know, exoticism of being Ooh, way nice. back in time and, and what it must have looked like back then. And it's worth it just for that. There you go. Hello, MC. Shog Shogun 9.2 on Internet Movie Database. Uh, Brown, Lord Wahoo or Wahoo is saying it's incredibly accurate to the book. So I don't know Get if anybody's read it. Go. <laughs> I would disagree with that, but there you go. They've changed some things. Um, and I think as it goes, they're going to have to change more to reinforce the things that they already changed. I don't want to give away too many spoilers. It's They've, they've, they've not ruined it, but they yes. could possibly ruin it. They've not ruined it yet. They could possibly ruin it, though. <laughs> yeah, but you do have that sense, don't you, that it's teetering there, that they could absolutely ruin oh. it. Yeah, yeah. One bad episode, already... and, and it, it yeah. would be unforgivable for me. That, that was like uh, Masters of the Air. It was teetering mm -hmm. for a while. Weird. And then the... Uh, I think it was the She-Hulk director, or one of the directors from them programs directed it, and it was fucked. Mm-hmm. Diversity higher, obviously. Okay. Oh, that was a, a what was it? Captain Marvel, wasn't it? Captain Marvel yeah. directors did episode five, maybe. Of of the so, Melvin, you would agree that, like, there's one scene where there's a fight sequence where the petite and very um, 
graceful uh, woman, female character goes into, you know, a Very ballistic. Cool. Yeah. And she goes, she starts smacking up dudes with a stick in a fight sequence. Yeah. Totally ruins it. They couldn't help really? themselves. And isn't no, the think... sad thing that she just has in, sort of an innate power in different ways that didn't need that in order for her character to be compelling and strong? And that's Sounds like um, a yeah, Saturday it's, night in Glasgow. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's strange. They had a they had a fight. Now, I had to Google this. My OCD wouldn't let it go. And I had to Google <laughs> it. Around about 1600-ish in Japan, the average height of a woman four foot eight. So you're, <laughs> so you're talking, it's like they probably weigh like... 80 pounds? Not even, you know, 50 pounds soaking wet, right? And it's like, there's just no chance. There's just no chance. And, you know, and, and the story is that she's been trained to use weapons and women were trained to use weapons back then. And that's fair enough. But she is not a fighter. She is like a servant, right? She's a translator and she's a wife and a mother. And say like else she doesn't train every day to fight and these guys she was fighting do and they're bigger than her and better than her and it's like you you could possibly accept that she grabbed the the the, the weapon which is longer than a sword and held them off briefly until help arrived you could mm -hmm. you could possibly believe that but she actually takes them on one and one and beats them and she done it with two or three men and one and it's like no chance zero never ever ever going to happen and my brain won't let that go <laughs> i would like i would like to go it's okay it's just a team but my brain won't let it go. I didn't even realize Ian had disappeared. Went nuclear. Oh, oh there he is. Yeah, Ian, is. are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm Yay! Trying to change something and it just, the whole thing cut me off for some reason. Interesting. Hmm. Ian, yeah. have you watched Shogun yet? No. No. I'm, 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 again, right? I'm scared to try these new shows. I don't like woke stuff. I just, I can't be asked. If somebody says to me it's really good and they insist I should watch it, not Ian, anybody else. Um, I, I keep watch. telling you to watch Banshee. <laughs> That's, That's why I don't advice, watch it. Um... Everybody watch Banshee. Banshee, watch it. It's amazing. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, I'm right. You're wrong. Anyway, should we move on? God, this steam right. Steam Yard is Stream Yard <laughs> sending me bloody Steamyard. numbers. What's this? Here's your single code. What 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 is this crap? Anyway, sorry. Carry Are you on. saying uh, Stream Yard is a steam steaming pile of shit? They're sending me numbers because I tried to do something and now it's saying stuff like you should sign in and all that. I thought you I was signed to. in. You go, Banshee Rocks. Cheers, MC. It does. Peter Pidrak. Hello, Peter, for two dollars. Glad to catch you live, and it's really great to oh. see you live, my friend. Thank you. Glad to have you here live. Okay, here you go, Steve. Banshee rocks. It does. It's amazing. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, you can stop patting yourself on the back yeah. now. So, Banshee what's the next? What's the next thing? Incredible. Move on. Oh, still, still that so, show. Yeah, if, if okay. there's one thing, <laughs> I'll this one out. Step. <laughs> if, if there's one thing I think most people can agree on watching this show, and I've, I've only gotten a couple episodes in, but uh, Hiroyuki Sonata is stellar. Says mm -hmm. he did all He's great. the fighting, horse riding, He's a good actor, stunts. though. He I've is. seen him in other movies. He's amazing. He's, he's a solid actor. It's solid. fantastic. Very, he's very built. skilled with his with his weapons. Very, very... Uh, just has a great presence on screen. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see him in more stuff. Mm hmm He's the geezer from John Wick 4, isn't he? Yes. Inception. No. It was an inception uh, I think you're thinking of someone else, right? Who's in John Wick? Or did I imagine it? Was Probably it imagined. Donnie, was it Donnie Yen and Don John Wick? Yeah, it was Johnny Yen, yeah. but it was the elder, the older guy. I think it I think um Ian's right. It is him, it's the same guy. This they got killed he... by Donnie Yen. Yes, he this was, guy uh... is solid. Oh, he was the dad who yes. gets killed? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was... he was thinking of the blind guy. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> he had a no. run in uh, the Westworld. Right. He was in the Westworld uh, TV show for a little was while. He? Yeah, there was uh, three or four episodes when they were in a feudal Japan version of Westworld in like the second season, I think. Oh, uh, right. Season. Uh, uh, there you go. Chat moved up. 
There you go. MC, I think he was... Yeah, he was in John Wick 4 and Bullet Train. There you go, folks. Mm. Okay. He, he's, he is a solid actor. He's yeah. fantastic. I think the first thing I really remember him <clears throat> from was The Wolverine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the, he was one of the really good in that. Yeah. Really good. But oh no, the yeah, the what am I talking about? He was in Lost. <clears throat> That's where I remember him. That was when the first time I remember seeing him, I think was in Lost. This uh, this came up before. Was he the last samurai as well? And the he last was, samurai. Yeah. There you go. He He's the bloke who who beat we Tam with the wooden sword. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you go. He was in Sunshine as well. Wow, that was a boring yeah. film. <laughs> Sunshine was okay until it went weird at the end. Yeah, it was a boring movie. It was up its own ass film. That's I hate those films. <laughs> up its own ass movie. I like it. Mm. Rules. Ian, you like the the you? Ian, What's you're that? the streaming version of uh, like there's two guys in the Muppets up on the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Stop complimenting him. It'll go to his head. <laughs> mm. Okay. Was it Waldo so, and Statler? Where were they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mega Geek and Brew. Yeah. Statler and Waldorf. <laughs> That's yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. What's this? Oh, uh, God. Okay. What? I, I tried. To, does anybody know how much this has made? I, they, they 1. 1.5 million. One, yeah. 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 One and a quarter million. That's yeah. good. Okay, first of all, am I allowed to say this? Um, the what, Americans... Negroes? Uh, you, you, yeah, you go ahead, Mega Geek. No, you're, you're allowed <laughs> to say it if you if you if you have the title, because loads. Of, I've seen loads of um, YouTubers that actually said it in their title when they're reviewing it. So, and they haven't been struck off. So I'm pretty um, sure it's okay. <clears throat> the American Society of Magical Negroes mm. is at thirty percent on. Rotten Tomatoes with 40 reviews. I'll tell you what's sad about this film. Um, people, uh, black people have now assumed that um, this trope is in movies, right? But it's not really a trope. They've just, they just embraced it as a trope. Because if you go back in movies, there are plenty of white people that, um, white characters that had the power to change people's lives and, and in some cases some movies black people's lives as well so why they single out this thing is is, is a big mystery to me then again i know why they single out because obviously of modern times but this film should not have been made it's obviously poke well it's meant to be a comedy right but apparently it's not a comedy so it's just a big waste of everyone's time it really is and money of course uh kippers you'd be good to see this one Hmm. Uh, yeah. I, I saw a review of it yesterday. Wasn't enamored by what they said. So uh, I think I'm out on this one. It just looks really boring, if anything else. Wasn't it go. like based on a, an original Key and Peel sketch or something? No, it it's not. Um, well, the, 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 kind the, the, of, the, right? Yeah, it was better. That, the sketch was better. Because it was yeah, the sketch, the sketch was like older, wiser people that were trying to help like a white guy in need or a white businessman in need. And it was like a two minute sketch of that, maybe five. But mm -hmm. it was not all this that they're making it out to be where it's, you know, you know, racial and black versus white and hateful. And this just puts out the wrong vibes for me. I do not want to see uh, this at all. Oh, yeah. No interest Here you go, whatsoever. Here you go, folks. Z3PO, Justice Smith is a Nepo baby. I don't even know what that means. And can't mm. act for shit. <laughs> Maybe nepotism? You don't know the Nepo baby memes? Yeah, Nepo. Yeah, nepotism. So it's a, a oh, kid, okay. a kid so, of some wealthy actors right, got so into talentless. acting because their parents were actors or connected. Yeah. yeah. There's a line in the film that says... Uh, the, the the most dangerous thing on the planet Earth oh, is, white, yeah, is yeah. white people, right? Yeah. And um, the thing is, though, how stupid do you think we are that they want us to believe that was a that was a joke? It mm. wasn't a joke. That was a no. pop. That was definitely a pop. So you know, these people are stupid beyond belief who made these films, and the people that finance these films are even more, if, if there's such a word, stupider. Do you know what I mean? So. Just everybody avoid this film like the plague. Seriously, it is a waste of everyone's time. 
Well, it's part of a trend that's been in the last couple of years of, of thinking it's kind of snide and droll to dunk on white people. And yeah. um, there was a Showtime documentary two years ago called Everything's Gonna Be All White, uh, <laughs> based on the same <laughs> thing. And it's just basically uh, black people complaining about white people in a, in a kind of very kind of disparaging, nasty kind of way. And it's currently at 1% on Rotten Tomatoes and it made no money. Uh, and then you had Alyssa Mercanti tweeted, Hi, you can't be racist against white people. Thanks for tuning yeah, in. So, that was yeah. her tweet. Then you had the lady from uh, the former Sweet Baby Inc. worker who was on a stream saying how she didn't hire white people because yeah. they're unsafe and hard to work with, and so she only hires people of color. And then you've got this American Society of Negroes. So it's a really snide attitudinal thing, and it's not working. No one likes it. It's sheer double fucking standards. If we was to do the same thing, they'd come down on us like a ton of bricks and would be cancelled. Princess Fiona, for $2... Thank you, I think. Brown, use your <laughs> fuzzy avatar, please. I, it sounds more like yelling. Can you yell the super chat, please? Yeah. Uh, uh. Let's oh. move on. <laughs> Use your fuzzy avatar, please. There we go. Oh. Representing for Fiona. Okay, so nobody's going <laughs> to chat. Anybody going to go watch this? Sounds like a winner. Uh, no. God, no. I'll, I think I'm I'll add something here. If, if this was food and I was starving, I would starve. <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I'll go watch Kung Fu Panda 4 before I go watch this. You know what? I mean, you know what the, um, the uh, what you call it, ma magical Negro trope is, right, everyone? Mm -hmm. No. No. Is that okay, like have, have you an ever actual seen, like, right, so, urban legend? Or all right. Something? No, it's not. It, it, it refers to um, black people who have this spiritual thing in movies in movies right so the last one was you ever see that one where um matt damon was a golfer and uh and will smith was his caddy but he was wise beyond his and he and he taught him how to play golf you ever see that bad. one yeah that one that is that trope is is referred to as a magical negro so that's what you it's know. referring to wow <laughs> in films so uh, okay. that's, that's, as I'm saying, that is not a trope, though, because because if it is right, then what about like the bishop's wife where um, Cary Grant comes down as an angel and persuade and, uh, you know, puts goodness in everybody around him? What about that? Why, the remade, the black, didn't they, didn't they remake the bishop's wife with Denzel they Washington? Did, yeah, yeah, with Denzel Washington. So that, in other words, he's a he's a magical Negro. You know, please what I mean? don't. So, the bishop, please. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's 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 they've just taken this now. Just like um uh what you call it, black people have embraced the word, you know, that word, the N word. Well, I claiming get, get it monetized. as their own. Claiming it as their own, which is stupid. It is stupid <laughs> beyond, beyond belief. Why would you do that? This is the same kind of thing. It's stupid. Sometimes people of color they just don't think, if you know what I mean. So Oh, never mind. That's rant over. There you go. Uh, Waylon Boothiefeth for $2. Broon, show your fuzzy ass. Just put on your fuzzy avatar. Stop being a I can't. Look at, I can't. Look at me, Because I've started the stream. And Kipling. I can't. We I can't. changed midstream. It's all good. You see good that? for you. And Ian good was trying to change his. He just couldn't figure out because he's an old no, man. No, no. Well, but he was I did trying. Try to change it, yeah. it? That's right. But it said I had to sign. I had said I had to sign mm. in, and then when I tried to, that's when I got cut off. Yeah. So, uh, so at yeah. least you gave it a shot. This dude's yeah. just being difficult. Princess Fiona, at Mister Brown, please read Waylon. And my, I have. He has. He's just being a butthead. <laughs> okay. Shows your furry bare ass. Brown, use your fuzzy avatar, please. Waka waka. Brown, waka waka. show your waka waka. <laughs> so you've got two lots of super chats now. I won't charge you double. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike only, poor Larry. <laughs> you really do that for Larry. Yeah, yeah I'm just waiting for Larry. <laughs> Larry, where are you? <laughs> Okay. Uh, he's probably not giving money because you didn't change he's your probably avatar. Doing overtime. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I'm not giving this dude money. He didn't. Uh, he didn't give us what he should have given us in that. Yeah, Brown. Avatar. He's giving you coin. You give him booty. <laughs> <laughs> Piss off. Okay. 
come on. I, don't when be so ruin, stubborn. listen, when ruin returns, I might consider it. Yes, but, but it not, might be a while. Exactly. Okay, let's move on. So Four just minutes. freaking do this it. This is going to be a seventeen-hour stream, everybody. Well, then just stop being difficult and do it. What, what was why did I stick his head on this on um Wesley Snipes? Okay, body? more changes Stupid. are in store for Blade <laughs> as now it's claimed the what script is, is getting retooled to drop aspects of the plot. Yeah, they're probably just dropping Blade altogether. It's gonna replace some <laughs> of the women. Like, no Blade, he's gone, that, folks. This dude is not half as cool as Wesley Snipes is. He's not, I'm just saying he's not, he's not cool. No. He's too highbrow to play this. Part. Yeah, he's a great exactly. actor. He is a he's a really good actor. Mm. But I don't know why he's even slumming it in Marvel Land. To play money, this role. <laughs> money, money, money. No, he, I think oh. he likes Blade though. No, he doesn't. He's only saying it because he's been offered it and he wants to do it because of the money. Yeah. I think he signed There's up. There's no for way it. this guy reads comic books. No way. Absolutely no way. I think he signed I mean, up for he... it when Marvel was still cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, here you go, Princess Fiona at Mr. Brown Lights. My stream is lagging, my bad. Uh -huh. It's lagging this end as well, mm. love. I forgive you. <laughs> yeah, especially Princess. on changing the avatar. <laughs> oh, here you go, straight to streaming. If he ever um, gets made, is he going to get so, made? I don't know. Yeah, well, the rumor was not only are they retooling it, I guess one of the one of the cast members has been dropped as well. It's well, probably white. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't white. Uh, I, I don't remember who it was. It wasn't someone I had really heard of, though. It wasn't oh. a popular name. Mm. Do any of us care anymore? Folks? We, don't. we don't. Not really, no. Um, How far was this into production? Because, you know, that's been it wasn't. a while. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's just they just it's just talk to keep it alive. That's all. Disney yeah. Disney wants everybody to know that they've got loads of projects on the boil. They're going to yeah. be making all these <clears> projects. <throat> it's just it's just a it's a tactic. It's just yeah. and also mm -hmm. sticking his head on Wesley Snipes' body. That is, is not really helping. awful. It's not helping. Oh, is that what it is? It. Oh, of course yeah. it is. Of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can blame the, the whoever posted this on Twitter for that one, though. I don't think Disney was the one putting his mm. head on Wesley Snipes' body. Yeah, but yeah, that looks terrible. <sighs> Yeah, oh, I mean, as if this is the worst news we've heard from Marvel this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or maybe Wesley it's good news. still looks I don't know. good. He could still yeah, play. Get, play. Get, get him He's in. Good. He could still play. Get yeah. him in. Yeah, get him I in. I know how old he is, though. He's still but fit enough to do it. Mm. I'd watch it, but because we wish it, that's it. Let's move on. Okay, Marvel. Lots of Disney show this week. So, guys, Marvel reportedly cans Ant Man four, Captain Marvel three, and Eternals two. Disney CEO Bob Iger said to have personally shut down Eternals, Internals sequel for fear it would be a guaranteed bomb. Well, all of them would be a guaranteed bomb if you yeah. if they don't if they bloody don't give uh, us back the boys' own stuff because turning the franchise into a uh, women woman's and girls girl brand is just not working at all. So. I really want to be able to do the Jeremy Clarkson meme here. Oh no! <laughs> and anyway, good. Moving on. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, of course, all of these were going to be guaranteed flops. Yeah. So, yeah, they will. You're, you should cancel them. You should cancel everything you're making in Marvel. Just... Write it all off. Yeah, but, but did Bob Iger actually say money in the this? trash. Did Bob Guy Iger actually say this? Uh, it's not, it's well, not a good internet, thing to yeah. say, is it? It's not a good thing to say, especially when you're trying to keep your um, investors. And uh, shareholders. So, is it is everything that bounding into comics is everything that they post fact? fairly legit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, because I don't really pay attention to them, so I yep. don't know. Um, I saw it on another feed as well that uh, yeah. internals were specifically mentioned. Bob, yeah. Because if it's a certain YouTuber uh, with those yeah. rumors that you have to take with a grain of salt, I'd steer yeah. clear of those for sure. Well, there, there are some rumors <laughs> from a variety of different sources <laughs> coming out saying that. Uh, that they may need the budget from all three of these films to offset uh, Captain Falcon. It sounds like it might even run into the five 
hundred million dollar oh. area because they've That's basically sick. had to reshoot the movie three times. Fuck. They'll like never this, admit uh, to that much. In Eternals 2, that, that Harry Styles five second weird cameo thing will mm. forever just be meaningless and just float around in the yep. cosmos as, as a pure perfect nothing. And I like that. <laughs> five uh, half, where's Z when you need him? Half a billion dollars for Captain America 4. And it's going to be a bomb. <gasps> no one's going to care. Yeah. Does anybody actually give a shit about Marvel Entertainment anymore or Marvel mm, Cinematic nope. Universe? Yeah. I think because of Disney's involvement, I think uh, Deadpool 3 is probably going to be shit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, Deadpool looks like it has some potential. That's about it. But it's that's be only because up. Ryan Reynolds was so heavily involved in it. If it's any good, that's the only reason. Now, Disney's control over that. They, they own it, so... They've got control over it. Don't don't be fooled that um, Ryan Reynolds is, is doing his thing on that. Don't be fooled at all. Disney is evil. <laughs> they will be in control. Believe you me. Da, da, da. Okay, should we move on? Evil. By the way, evil. we were so... One film we were so spoiled for was Logan. I rewatched that recently. That is one fucking fan. awesome film. God, it's a good fantastic film. Good. film. Great I'm not a fan, start. but I don't like watching Wolverine die. That's my all-time yeah. favorite comic book character, so mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of Logan. But, but he he died a hero. You know yeah, I mean? he did. Yeah. But like, he, yeah, you know, seeing him weak is hard because, mm. like, that's an alternate timeline. You know, where you have old man Logan and all of that stuff. So it's it's just really hard to see oh, wow. Wolverine being weak. 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 I I think I have the. CD Blu-ray of Wolverine, and oh wow, it's it's one of the very few where the CD holds up. The CD and that one's pretty good. Watch mm. it on a on a. I was like the black and white version. I want to watch that. <clears throat> is black it the black and white? and white version? One of the, no. is it Logan? Oh, uh, oh. Are you Wolverine. sure you're not Wolverine. thinking of the Wolverine? <sighs> God knows, I've it's just come on, Brown. God, God knows, come on. Yeah, the one when he's in Japan. Right. So yeah, I have that one. Yeah, that, that one mm -hmm. was okay. It yeah, wasn't great, but it was the okay. one where he died. They made it. a black and white version. Yeah, I know they did, but why, why bother it. watching it? You might as well just turn the color down on your TV. <laughs> it's pointless. <laughs> it really is on that bombshell, let's move on. <laughs> Good point. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, X Men, or was it X Persons 97, creator Bo DeMeo. Mm. Is that Bo of Mayonnaise? Is he gay him. by any chance? No idea. Was reportedly was that as reportedly an absolute he got fired, you see, an absolute mm. nightmare to deal with on a daily basis. Mm. Disney executives reportedly found his behavior on and then and that creepy. Only fans. He was on OnlyFans. Yeah. So, so is he's he, got to is spend he, his money somewhere. Next question. Uh, the, the question still stands is he gay? No idea. Mm. Uh, Good. yeah. I don't know. Yes, he is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's why he got his job. He got his job because he, he was a man of color and he's gay. So there you go. Is he telling it's, the uh, British something had to be up with a name like that? Eh? I bet that's not his real name. <laughs> it's it's true, yeah. <laughs> Mayo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say something really funny. It's got out of mind. <laughs> Oh, you can't Christ. do it without the Fozzie avatar. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, here's a question, right? There's a lot of right? things I can't do. Is he really creepy? Would you, I mean, he might well be if he's got an OnlyFans. But if it's Disney telling you that, then then I want not to believe it because mm. it's Disney. Yeah, yeah, it might not be true. According to Disney, I'm a racist and I've never met Disney. <laughs> oh, we're all racists. And also, um, X-Men 90, you know, I wouldn't X touch persons. this. X-Persons. I, I wouldn't touch this with a barge pole. I know what I know what they've done to it. I suspect what they've done to it. Unless somebody tells me something different, I can't be. I mean, and stuff like that. I'll be honest. I love the original X Men animated so series, oh, but you. that makes me afraid to check out this. Yeah, one same because here. I'm like, That's, oh, they've I've created just... these problems for us, and and now we're reacting to it. We're saying we're not we're not going to uh -uh. accept this nonsense. That's right. So, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I've just remembered my joke. 
Would you like to hear it, Ian? You'll like this. Go on in. <clears throat> Is he telling all the British fans to F off? Oh, because he's got the V up. Think waka you waka. Joke. You like that? Waka waka. <laughs> Christ. He's, he's giving you the V. <laughs> Uh, the Americans know what the V is. The Americans know what the V is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jargon. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, okay. this guy, he's got a lot of money, right? So why is he on the CD platform of OnlyFans, which is kind of for people who are semi-desperate making money on the side? Why was he on that platform for? Maybe he started off doing that and then they just... Allegedly. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> exhibitionist. Um, here you go, folks. Super chats. Here you go. Film comics explained for ten Australian dollars. Thank you, my friend. Good evening, folks. Is Shogun any good? Considering Disney's partnership with Hulu, I get the feeling it's another bait and switch. The trailers and clips look great, but I'm hearing mixed reviews. Melvin, it could be. Uh, we're only four episodes in. It could be that. Not necessarily, but we shall see. Did it's we mostly say... good. It's mostly it's... good. It, it's it's like if there's a band you really like, and there's one member of the band who gets one song in every album, which is kind of crap. So it's kind of like that dynamic. You've got to suffer through that 10% of crapness while you enjoy the rest. Ooh, nice. But the rest is really good. Nice. You've got to be, um, they're getting very clever at sticking the message in, though. Mm -hmm. um you know you could you could either see it both ways now because they know that we can see it so they're getting very clever and slipping it in like um i didn't <laughs> so i didn't sorry. know i didn't know <laughs> that wah, wah. Uh, doom 2 had so many uh, mes messages in there Is it? and apparently it does doom so you 2 doom or doom 2 if you don't stop with that brown the audience <laughs> is going to like go postal on you <laughs> so they might have stuff in in shogun but you know, people haven't noticed it yet. So okay, uh, what does this mean, Rennie? I don't care. What? Are you looking at your <laughs> covered eyes with your... Oh, me? I'm just like, just have you very, seen some of these comments in the chat? <laughs> Google eyes. That's right. It's like, uh... <laughs> It's like in, like in Beetlejuice when the character puts yeah. their eyes on the ends of their fingers and stares at themselves. Yeah. Kind of strange. Mm. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, uh, is it time to move on? I think. Move on. No, on. I was going to say yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> what was I going to say? God damn it! When are you anyway. ready, son? Well, I was going to say that um, I like the fact that in Hollywood they envisioned that once you'd take sort of started to tear down, you know, the patriarchy of the suspenders wearing, cigar chomping, casting couch exploiting uh, white dudes, that there'd be a new spirit of conviviality and decency uh, from all the diverse people. But it turns out that you know Victoria Alonso was horrible. Kathleen Kennedy's been horrible. Ezra Miller was disgusting. This guy's kind of weird and creepy. Rachel Zegler got everyone's back up. Weird, so weird. Uh, all people of all different backgrounds are shitty. That's the lesson we've learned. Mm. You know, um, OnlyFans is um, uh, is for <coughs> mostly uh, sexual things, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. only for sexual things, pretty much. <coughs> right. And it's for so, pretty much so, desperate yeah. people that can't. So almost exclusively. You can guess. You can guess what he was doing on OnlyFans. So. Yep. Playing Keep with clean. these peepee. Keep, um, <laughs> Kippers. <laughs> Kippers. Uh, any thoughts on Only OnlyFans? <laughs> uh, I can't speak with any experience of that myself um, as a creator or a viewer. Uh, <laughs> I'm but... so lie. <laughs> So this this whole X Men debacle is just hell from beginning to end, isn't it? It can only end in a terrible show, I think. I've seen a few clips of it, and I was actually quite impressed. There's a there was a scene where the X Men are fighting a Sentinel, and I thought it actually looked mm -hmm. pretty decent. And and then other scenes, like in the trailer and stuff, it looks like the um, the Archer animation, you know, from Archer. That, that yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got you. Animation, it kind of looks like a a bit like a flash animation, you know, kind of a bit janky and a bit weird, but not as fluid um, and as comic booky as the original. But it was relatively entertaining. The whole scene was pretty good. But then when you think of the the people that are working on it, including this guy, it just makes you think, like, what am I going to catch from watching it? You know? It's just, <laughs> Do you know, um, you, should, you should have Ray 
um, having OnlyFans in your in your uh, thing, you know. <laughs> when you, well, she has Ray been thinking it? about it. If you've oh, been up she? To the episode, she has she has considered it. Yeah, or, oh, or releasing right. a it was releasing a, a sexy cosplay calendar as well. I think it was. So. <laughs> yeah, Excellent. just uh, just, don't intermingle it with Brown's channel, or else he's gonna lose his extra, shit. Extra. Just the music will well, this for a while. <laughs> well, where's he going? Yeah. Oh, are you going on to that guy's OnlyFans for a while, Brown? What's going on? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just I'm just bankrupting Larry. <laughs> <laughs> made you look <laughs> oh made you look made cool look. larry he's never gonna learn <laughs> made you look. Yeah. Cheers, oh i larry. remembered what i was remember what i was gonna ask um psycho aside <laughs> is the mother and son relationship in june the weirdest mother and son relationship you've ever seen it on is. screen it so is. strange uh, was the talking uh, fetus in the book as well I Anybody think know? she so? was actually uh, yes she did communicate with her fetus but then the the baby was born in the book she was mm -hmm. uh several years old by the conclusion of the story in the book so yeah. it turned out to be Tom Cruise in the end the baby <laughs> we Tom <laughs> uh, just thinking of weird mother son relationships cycle that was a bit weird yeah mother, well, mother. but at least it wasn't like kind of because psycho they made it kind of sexual that's not what it was Jeez. with no, it um, wasn't. paul yeah. and his mom um so there was Mind nothing you, rebecca ferguson Oof. like that but like it was just weird because it was strained and she just really wasn't a good mother no she wasn't then uh, she turned into a witch may i do a super chats larry for 20 whatever 20 dollar 20 dollars. made you look Twain no, made you yoi yoi look yoi look made yoi yoi look. Look. <laughs> look. look. There you go. Oh, made yoi look. Made yoi look. Oh, made you look. Cheers, Larry. Bless you, my friend. What is today in America? It's March. Uh, it's the seventeenth. It is uh, Saint Patty's Day. Saint Patrick's oh. Day, of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. You can't say Paddy. That's very po problematic nowadays. <laughs> Saint Saint Patrick's Patrick's What's Day. wrong with that? It's short for Patrick. Saint Patrick's Day. Can't say that now. Okay. Um, well, either way, I don't wear green because I'm not an Irish, so suck it. Anybody notice the green background? Anybody can be watching this. Anybody? No. Uh, I'm no. gonna give it a try. Yeah, try. We'll see. Really? Mm. I'm, I really I'm did. I did love the show from from. The I'm gonna 90s. hold off. I don't want to be disappointed, so yeah. I'll wait and see what people think before I give it a yeah, shot and then go. Give oh, it a dude. try. Hold up, Disney. Yeah. Why don't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, exactly. I have. I, just, I have I no. Can't. I have no illusions that it's going to be any good. I'm just going to give it a try. And if if it's well, shit, we'll come in here and start legging. There you go. <laughs> well. And you guys heard there's it. a non-binary mutant and stuff, so that's oh, already kind of off-putting as well. It's sake. on. It's like everywhere Jesus. on social media. Don't even act like you didn't know. It's probably a sidestep you true. have coming up, anyways. Please. So I think everyone I think I might... do not watch Disney. Don't watch it, no, folks. Don't. It's shit. Don't. If I'm going to find out about this show, it's going to be through other people reviewing that's it. Right. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wear a full body condom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on. For the OnlyFans guy? Well, yeah, obviously. Marvel Studios <laughs> guy, Brad, was that? says that there is a mandate to kind of create as much as we could for Disney I Plus was. as quickly as we could. What well, the fuck shows. is he talking about? <laughs> it shows because the quality of work is terrible. Mm -hmm. Just slap it out. Brad, you should be kicked in the face, mate. I think it's just to get it was just to get it was to get content on the channel when it launched. Oh yeah, yeah, they were desperate to try and fill up that uh, fill up that bucket, fill up yeah, all the content the they could. Bucket. Yeah, uh, shit. fill up that outhouse. Uh, they they well, were why? desperate to get content in there so that they could try to bring in more people, and it just it hasn't worked, and it's not gonna work. Their I can't numbers keep I, slipping. Why why are they saying this stuff? Is this true or is this made up by discussing film? That, that is this made up because to me. I don't see why they would admit things like this, especially when they when they're in the in the in the brink of the the thing that's gonna happen with the you know with the financier and all that stuff. What why are they saying all this stuff? Because it's revisionist for your um 
perspective or the way that you're seen if you go out and say well all along i knew that this was happening and i didn't really like I it at see. the time but this was what's oh, happening good, it's it? all about image management and retrospectively mm. positioning yourself to think that you know but this, you were but, you were on the right but side this, but this brad he's trying to save Warren his ass then is that is that what you're saying he because like he's literally damning disney but he's saying it's not his fault that's basically yeah if he, he was saying that if yeah, he, he was that. saying there was a mandate, which means we were kind of yeah, compelled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was against my better instincts. Right. You know, he's positioning himself like that. Right. Because yeah. he still worked for them. Or is anybody know? Don't know. Maybe, maybe that's why he's saying don't it, he doesn't work for them anymore. I don't know. Hmm. He's on yeah, OnlyFans now. <laughs> he's on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I think they all are. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> okay, let's move on. It's a sidestep, I think. Of course it is. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. Okay. Uh, Charlie Cox says having Foggy and Karen back in Daredevil, born again, made it clear they are the kind, they are kind of heart and soul of our show. It was pretty heartbreaking when they weren't around initially. It says heartbeat, not heart and he soul. He didn't just say that. that. He did not say this is Move rubbish. On. Move along. This is bollocks. <laughs> Seriously, this is he did not shit. say any of this stuff. He did not say any of this stuff. Bollocks, this everybody. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. Got nothing to report. Chad's telling Have you, you seen to move suit? on. Have you seen <laughs> his suit? Have you seen his suit? Yeah, the, the suit okay. is awful. It's move on. There's, there's a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> yeah, we've a got lot a lot of, of salt in the audience and on the panel, so probably oh, best to move on. We're just all... <laughs> Salty! We're just all frazzled. It's, from, old it's, old just, it's just all shite. Well, if you would shed your skin and wear your fur, you might feel a little bit more bubbly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> waka, Miriam, waka, waka, waka. this is what we needed, uh, probably. Miriam Margolis has doubled down on adult Harry Potter fans needing to grow up. If your balls have dropped, then it's time to forget about it. Well, first of all, fuck well. this bitch, because <laughs> I don't have balls. Uh, cause I'm a fan. Well, and secondly, I've always loved Harry Potter and JK Rowling is a pretty decent author aside from the freaking, uh, constant use of adjectives, um, you know, unneedingly, but you know, um, I think you're allowed to like whatever literature you like, that's right. unless that's it's right. something that's really just disturbing, like pedophilia or something crazy yeah. like that. That's not and what at that this moment, is. The channel got demonetized. <laughs> well done. The 10 P I make from this. Cheers, Renee. You didn't say that was a bad word. You just said the C word was. <sighs> but, you know, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, for instance, I The Stand is my favorite book of all time. Yes, it's a Stephen King book. But I have loved that book since I was probably 17 or 18. I don't hate, like it any less because I'm older than that now. I think you have the right to enjoy the literature that you enjoyed when you enjoyed it or to revisit it and reread it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. She's just psychotic. Just my two cents. <laughs> if you've seen her in interviews, she is yeah. really And odd. you know, I don't know what's going on if it's just senility with her because she used to be a fairly level-headed lady and then uh, all of a sudden she's just uh, coming out saying she some crazy does. shit. Yeah, she has no tact or filter at all. All the yeah. kind of old school British actors and comedians think they're all mad lefties. She, well, <laughs> she can take her meat flaps and get the fuck out of him entertainment for all I care. I'm just saying. So, bye, don't, bitch. Don't back, Rennie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Say what you really said. think. <laughs> you know, I don't get worked up a whole, whole lot. But, you know, it's stupid and Every shit time like she does, it gets demonetized, yes. Okay. <laughs> no, I do not. I've never said the C word on your channel, ever. Give so it time. You can take Let's that to the bank. But you, you know, go. I just I don't understand. Take that to the bank. Sidestep, folks. <laughs> Amelia Margolith turned down a role in Marvel's hashtag Agatha. Why? I she looks don't... like an old witch. <laughs> <laughs> why is she? Why is she on? Social why is she white? Media? I don't know. Why is she on social white media? Pens? Just seriously, just go away, woman. What, what What's your problem? I I don't like America, and I didn't want to be in Georgia for four months, so I just said, "Well, I want a million pounds," and they said, 
you can have half a million. Because you're not I worth said, the full million, bitch. And I said, no. No, I just don't want to do it. So she didn't. Wow. Well, I was in uh, Georgia for three months recently, and it was Would beautiful. Would you do it for I half a million? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, you go, there you go, folks. Would you do her for half a million, Brown? No. <laughs> How Brown about would. Brown? Brown would. Uh, I'd do Brown for half a million. <laughs> Gold really? hole and all that. You'd, you know? you'd have to get free Smilex first, though. Yeah. Um, half a million is a lot of money. Oh, I don't know. She sounds quite tasty, actually. She's 82. 82. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. She's 82, folks. There you go. Tim would. That's the, that's the age. That's the age of. I don't give a, I don't give a brick, doesn't it? That's Some the people age. would give her two. Yeah. That's it. But that came the money out. Oh, give her the best folks. night of all. Yep. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, half yeah. half a million dollars. What you, lady? Pounds, take the pounds, Disney or half a pounds. million pounds. <laughs> Half a million, million pounds. Take take the Disney money while it's still there, because they're going to be bankrupt and firing people left yeah. and right and just take years the money. Time. <laughs> take so... the money. Take the money. Make use of craft services. Yeah, this is the only reason why she's saying this because she wants attention. Yep. Yeah, she's eighty-two Asking, and she needs some money to needs, end her life yeah, with. She, do you know what I mean? Well, she just turned it down, attention. so she doesn't. Yeah, she well, wants yeah, to tell everybody, oh, look, enough. I turned down Marvel. What I'm worth more than Thomas. that at 82, uh, damn it. Here you go, Emperor, I'd give her one with broom <laughs> and chill, <mate. laughs> I will say, right, I'll throw this in, that at 82, she's just old. I think we should yeah. just let old people be old. Yeah, exactly. Show them well, a little bit of respect. Yes, but don't give them any time on media. Just be like, move along, move along, bye-bye. When you're 80, you can say any kind of shit you want to anyone. Seriously, well, it gives know. you How permission. You? She's uh, not 80, she's though, mate. The Joel your... Biden of the entertainment industry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that one. Here you go, Wayland the Thief for two dollars. Renny letting the. <laughs> no, yes. See you next <laughs> Tuesday. See you next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Sorry, I really love the Harry Potter books. It just, oh, good, you know, good for you. Stupid bitch. Fucking go to hell, hag. <laughs> Season four has like, seriously. 25 fear effect shots left to finish before it's fully completed. And Ian, you're going to read exciting. it. Can you do it so everybody can hear, please? No. The boys, no. <laughs> the boys. The boy Season, Season four. four only has 25 fear effect oh. shots left. <laughs> To finish before it's fully completed and ready to be released. So well, yeah, I, have, I have a hot take here. Go on, hot take. Hot takes. 20, Twenty-five VSX VFX shots. Mm. I bet it's all decks. No, it's mm. for. Um, <laughs> I'm not touching this one. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what all the VFX shots are for, right that. there, right Very there. Good. Very good. Ooh. Oh. It's, only, it's, not, it's not, she didn't have any operation. It's makeup. Contour. Don't you no, know? Ian, uh, it's makeup. She definitely had a nose job or something. Her <laughs> oh, nose yeah. is structurally I'm, smaller. I'm Contour. sorry. Like, makeup doesn't do that. <laughs> it's makeup. What are you no, I'll tell about? you this much. So I ran that by some friends that I have that are actual makeup artists. And they said, absolutely not. You cannot do as much as she has had done, done, unless she used some sort of photoshopping and it really wasn't that dramatic. But they said you cannot contour a nose so that small. I'm with well, Emperor. It was contouring, yes. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. When she appears in this show, let's see if her yeah. nose is that thin. Well, it was. It wasn't right. a nose, just a nose, though, was it? The cheeks it's have sunk. Well. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's have it's a look. It's bad, shall dude. We? She was so pretty. Mm. She's stupid if she, she were... had work done at that yeah. age. It's like um, Anya Taylor Joy as well, isn't it? She looks horrendous now. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, what oh. about the boys' season four? Anybody? <laughs> Meh. I'm Anybody? excited about it. It's like, so there are a few changes that they've made to the comics, but for the most part, it's sticking to the spirit of the comic books, which is basically kind of like Watchmen. Not all heroes are all good or superheroes are all good. Everyone has good and evil to them. And <laughs> Homelander is a perfect example of that. Um, so I don't know. I, I think it's pretty good. There are a couple things that I wish that they had done differently. 
Um, and you know, we can spend time outside of, you know, the stream talking about it, but like, no, you know, there are some things I really wish I could have seen, like with mother's milk, that would have been awesome because he's actually a superhero in the comic, Damn. but, um, you know, there's, I don't know. I think they've done fairly well with it, adapting it. Yes. They had to make some changes, but oh, yeah. I understand why there were white characters that were made black in the show, but there were also black characters that were made white on the show. Uh, so it's kind of even Mavis. Steven. Queen Maeve was spoken. Mm -hmm. yes. The show, the show was kind of played out essentially that the plot just kind of goes round and round in, in circles, uh, and so they kind of run out of steam and ways to, to keep exploring it. But I just like watching the show because I really like these characters. They're yeah. funny and they're compelling. Mm -hmm. Anthony, I love Homelander, even though he's an asshole. <laughs> I think he's hilarious. Yeah, he's I really from, do. Uh, yeah, it's because he's a Kiwi. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. He fakes an yeah. American accent very well, though. He does. Um, if you want to watch Anthony Starr, Here we go. <laughs> good in something. Here we go. Banshee. It's amazing. Banshee's amazing. Could you imagine it's how Brown would wet his pants if it's Tom amazing. Cruise and Anthony Starr made something together? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a sh oh, he doesn't need that to wet his pants though does he come on <laughs> no brown's desperate see... he'll take anything <laughs> if you want to see anthony Starr and you get to the very heart of new zealand culture watch the show outrageous fortune i recommend um, it uh may i do a mightily generous super chats oh that's, that's so a, sweet that's a lot of money you Common won't be able people. to sing it properly though especially after i bankrupt him watch you be nice to him. <laughs> you do you do realize that doesn't do anything. No. no. Ian. <laughs> it's comedic effect. Common people for 50 pounds. pounds. That's real money, allegedly, folks. We need ruin allegedly. for a song of this magnitude. Here's <laughs> a song my old dad said he wrote for my old mum. I want to live like common people. No, I want to do. I can't. <laughs> Unbelievable. You do it. You're a, you're a musician, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Ooh, sing it, please. <laughs> I would like song. to hear this. Go on. Yeah. I want to live what? like common people. I want to do whatever common people do. Want to <laughs> sleep with common people. Want to sleep with common people like you. Like you. That was like great. You. Well done. I liked it. Amazing. Yeah. Waka waka. Even R2 liked it. Waka waka. <laughs> like cricket ripple that was just then. Um, thank you, common people. That's just. Beyond, I love how um, beyond generous, when they do create these uh, superhero suits, they always have to put muscles in them now. Yeah. Chris Reeves never had full muscles. No, man. He was real. He no, was them real. was real muscles. Yeah. Ah, dear. Okay, um, June is going to be a great month. June, is it? June, okay, yeah. it um, is. Yeah. <coughs> what's what's happening in June? June, sorry, June. Oh, the acolyte. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake! I can't wait. The acolyte. Oh, Brown, no, you and your hate you. watching. Have fun oh. with that. No, thank you. No, thank can't you. Can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, let's move on. Oh, what's wrong with her? <laughs> she works for Amazon. That's Ooh, what's, um, Amazon's Fallout director says it would have been. See, there's a trailer out this week. Says it would have been a fool's errand for series to try and appeal to fans. I don't think you can really set out to please the fans of anything. Okay, can I ask oh. a question? Is this oh, director gay? <laughs> well, but... does he have an OnlyFans? And does he have an OnlyFans? Yes. Uh, oh, do you think this is going to bomb? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Probably. I saw the if trailer. That's his attitude. I saw the trailer. I don't know what Fallout is. I know it's a computer game, but I saw the trailer. I was like, oh, okay. I wasn't really impressed. Is this director a female or a male? By the way, I don't yeah. see a name. Yeah. So they don't. Um, don't care. Yeah, so like, it I, if that was a legit like statement that they made, it's only because nobody's liked anything for the last few years because it's all been shit. Even the dog's um, pissed off. But 
I know, right? Golly, and that's across the street for crying out loud. But, um, you know, it's, what do you expect from people? They're not just, you know, some people aren't going to just sit down and take it. I just won't watch a modern entertainment for the most part mm, anymore. Okay. Here you go. Waylon Bethifus. Welcome to ASMR Dog Noises on Mr. Dan Lyons. <laughs> Jonathan Nolan woof, is woof. the one behind Jonathan, Jonathan Nolan. Wow. Yeah. Jonathan Nolan's directing. Uh, mm. It's Geneva oh, right. Robertson Dwarf yes. is the creator. I see. So Jonathan Nolan, is he gay? That's Christopher Nolan's brother. Mm -hmm. No, so yeah. I still the question still stands. Is he gay? I don't think so. Uh, Ian's like got the, two default settings nowadays. Has he, has he, is he gay? Has, has, he, has he has he on is he didn't he work is he with on Christopher only Nolan? Fans? Is he on oh my fans? god, Ian, what the hell? <laughs> He's the Danny Minogue of cinema. He's, he's married to a woman. Yeah, I was uh, going right, to say, I don't think he is, yeah. Because he was working <laughs> with Christopher Nolan on a lot of his projects. And I've seen him interviewed quite a bit. And I was going to say, I thought he was married to a woman. So, But you yeah. were obsessed with seeing him wank on OnlyFans, I hear. So. <laughs> yeah, but, but Renny, what is a woman? Exactly. Well, Shut it up. depends on who you speak to. Yeah, For Brown, it's just a warm body in the middle of the night. <laughs> doesn't even have to be warm. Okay. <laughs> Whenever, whenever homoeroticism comes up, Smilex oh. just can't help himself. He has to chime in for some reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> the, <laughs> the His ears are burning every time. Where am I looking? <laughs> the, the... <laughs> Where am I looking? Smilex, retype it so I can see it. Please. I can't see it. I'm... I'm just reeling from Ian's default e settings. Every, on. Yeah, every time. <laughs> it's, uh, every every, every, well, every the co creator. The co creator. Every time, <laughs> there's something on screen that sounds really crap. Yeah. I will yeah. ask the question Is go. that person gay? Is he got OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> The co-creator of this is Geneva Robertson Dwarat. The only okay. things that she's only done fans. before uh, are <laughs> The only thing she's done before were the 2018 Tomb Raider movie. Was it gay? Which was fairly crap. And oh then God, Captain Brown. Marvel. Oh, oh, it's fucked, okay. everybody. Now, when That's somebody says it. something stupid, like, like we don't think, we, we're not going to cater to the fans, that's when you have to ask the question. You need yeah, to that's, get the a, that's the thing. <laughs> Ian, you need to, you need to get a, um, a merch range going. Oh, shush. Is it? <laughs> it's shit. Be <laughs> <laughs> fat. <laughs> yeah, it's shit. I haven't got an OnlyFans page. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, oh, I'm Christ. just saying you could do the merch with like a little caricature of yourself, and then you have like a little talk bubble that says it's shit, and then like a little poop emoji. You could have like mugs. Mm. Yeah, but um, and your angle, uh, you know, uh, could be scatological. You could be like one in, one cup. A little. <laughs> <laughs> Kippus, Kippus has done a really good um, avatar oh. for me, but I can't, I can't show you it. It's a shame, all. really. He's oh, done a really good avatar tonight, for me. Everybody. Okay. A really good it's going to be shit, isn't it? It's it's probably mm -hmm. going to look very, very, very pretty. Yes. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? The program Fallout. Oh, mm. yep. can't even yeah. be sure of that. No, Ella yeah. Parnell's a good-looking girl, but what's the deal with her eyes? Don't know. The crazy huge. eyes. She I think got everybody's. Crazy eyes. I, I think everybody's saying the uh, the uh, male baddie with the missing nose is probably going to be the best thing about the program. Oh, yes, That's, the guy. Yeah, Voldemort. 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 Goggins. Yeah. What? Yep. Yep. Voldemort? <laughs> no. no, not Voldemort. <laughs> oh, not bombshell. Let's move on. You're not allowed to like Harry Potter, damn it. Too old. Oh, this guy is still alive. Anybody see this? Um, <laughs> yes. Elon Musk slams down Don Lemon in interview. Elon, yeah. I don't like, I don't have an answer for these questions. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Otherwise I would not do this interview. So the story is Echo. I have no idea. I don't like either of these people. Okay. <laughs> Melvin, you know the story? Uh, briefly, uh, Don Lemon was allegedly getting a deal. The Don Lemon, again, for, for uh, Mega Geek is gay. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> is he got an OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah, probably. Eddie, oh, you was reading around America. He's thick as shit. Ooh, but it was up. allegedly he got fired getting, from uh, CNN. It was allegedly getting a deal to 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 do what Tucker Carlson's doing, that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On X on Twitter, I called it X for yeah. the first time. Mm-hmm. There. And uh, oh, nice. he, he got an interview with Elon Musk and started asking all these ridiculous questions, and he blew his deal. So basically, yeah. that's it. But uh, I don't think his deal was going to do him any good. I don't think he was going to get get the same kind of so, following Tucker Carlson got. He pissed yeah. off the uh, the golden is it the golden calf golden car? I don't know. Yeah, the golden was, goose. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he just pissed him good. off. Um, Pissed off the golden calf is the most torturous reimagining of that <laughs> state I've yeah. ever heard. Like, yes, that's, uh, beautiful. Yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> um, I will say, uh, Mr. Musk, I'm looking for employment. So I don't think you stand a chance. Do the crickets? Mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, it, it does seem that yeah, he did an interview with him, and uh, he says he thought he had a really great conversation with Elon, and I think uh, Elon felt otherwise. So. Mm. Um, yeah. Here you go, Emperor Goodwin Moses pissed off the golden calf. No, he he pissed gold... on the golden calf. Yeah. Uh, so Don Lemon, his ratings uh, plummeted when he was in prime time, and so they shifted mm-hmm. him to the morning show, and his ratings plummeted there as well. <laughs> so now more. he's off to some other thing. Oh, he's yeah. one of these guys that fails upwards. Because I was going to say, fails I upwards and then was... fails downwards. It's, yeah. Is Don Lemon sour? You know, um, I've I'm never old. heard of this guy. I've never heard of him. I mean, what is he's like? Is he news anchor fella? Is he? Or, or, yeah. So he on CNN's cable news, and you yes. know, he would give the uh, sort of nine p.m. editorial mixed with the news, where he would right. ponderously lecture everyone about uh, everything that's going on, and then do that thing where he would end a sentence and then level his gaze at you for five seconds of of strong reckoning and connections about how things what? are, and uh, yeah. then people stop watching him. I've always found him to be really taxing on yep. patients. I just, I can't stand him. So Hospital patients. Mm. Oh, Lord. Edge of time. Hello, my friend. I love Don's book. For fail, failing upwards, I gave it five lemons. <laughs> that just tickled me for some reason. I don't know why. Waka waka. Waka this waka. This is why you need your Fozzie Bear avatar. I think his next, uh, his next venture is called Lemon Party. Lemon entry. Uh, do you know what a lemon party is, Brown? <laughs> Why don't you go Google it real quick? Yeah, have a Google, Brown. See what you think. <laughs> I think party. you qualify for the lemon party. <laughs> yeah, no? Brown, Brown, and, and Ian would be able to have a lemon, a lemon party. party? I don't <laughs> no, know. No, no. <laughs> um, ego, James Sutter. So is Jay, is Larry King dead? He is. Yeah. Sadly, yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know the expression that someone has when they're saying, "So yeah, you know, there's that." You know that expression? That's what he would linger on you for five or ten seconds. Yes. Apparently, oh, yeah. do. N- oh, sorry. Chats, mo- chats on fire. <laughs> do not Google. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm in, I'm, okay. I grew up uh, in a small little village uh, in the middle of nowhere. I'm, I'm I, uh, I'm ready ready now. I don't know that either, and I'm not going to yeah. Google it. I if you don't, if you don't know what it is, Ian, maybe ask your boyfriend, Smilex. Maybe he'll know you. Even in that small uh, town, Brownie, they were shot. behind behind drawn blinds. You don't know what was going on. <laughs> 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 you know, some elderly the gents writing. would finish their finish their their ale, and then they would go home, and uh, one thing would lead to another. <laughs> he has a GoFundMe <laughs> to pay the bills. It's called Lemonade. That's a good one. That's the you might you got to get that's a good one. That's a good one. Well done, Fiona. Fiona, you need to come on one of these one week. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you we broke right, ready. Then, yeah, it's hilarious. I can't believe. Oh, good for you. Know. Let's move on then. Move along. <laughs> oh God, no! That, that, that's putting this... everything down, isn't it? Mm. That's my job. Um, trailer this week for the. Quote. Oh, gross! This is the poster. This is an insult to Brandon Lee's legacy. Fuck what the fuck is Bill Skarsgård. 
don't know. I don't care. This film looks rubbish. Mm. Mm-hmm. It, nobody's nobody can do Eric Draven like Brandon Lee did, and if you see the mm-hmm. pictures of Bill Skarsgård, it looks like complete shit. Mm. Shall I ask yeah. that question then? What's that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, is he on OnlyFans? Is he on OnlyFans? I mean, I wouldn't pay any money. He'd have to pay yeah. me. <laughs> That's is he <bullshit>. guy? <laughs> is he oh, guy? Dear. Can we move on, sure. please? Because that trailer was absolutely awful. I don't think uh, people I, are going to watch. I wouldn't even watch the trailer. I wouldn't. I, um, I, wouldn't watch I saw the pics and I'm See, like, "Fuck I saw this!" Bit, yeah, yeah. The trailer looked awful. It just looked terrible. Yeah. yeah. Here you go, Tom. Live a fucking crow alone, and we're not talking about yeah. Russell either. Stop making yeah. remakes. God yes. Sake. I thought this. Like, it's because yeah. Echo Chamberlain's here. You see. And it's stop the, the race swapping, yeah, please. Stop race <laughs> swapping, please. Well, but they didn't. Um, like, you know, Eric Draven was a white guy. Bill Skarsgård is a white guy. But, like, there are very, <clears throat> there are very, various iterations of the Crow in the Crow comics. He doesn't have to be Eric Draven. He can be another Crow. So mm-hmm. why you have to redo the Eric Draven story, which was done perfectly on film for me and is one of my all-time favorite movies, I don't understand because Brandon Lee embodied him perfectly. And there is no reason to redo this movie because people are just going to be salty when they see it. There might be some people that like it, but for the most part, I don't think it's going to do as well as they're hoping it's going to do. He looks like a joke. I had a crow in my garden today. Uh, eager folks. Larry. Waka waka. Oh. I drove an hour to see Dune Part 2 in IMAX. Loved it. Yes, I know the books pretty well. I approve of most of the tweaks he made. There you go, folks. Glowing yeah. recommendation. If, you, if you've not watched Dune, Dune. Part 2, go watch it. Yeah, um, my husband felt the same way, Larry. Uh, we went and watched it last weekend, and he was a huge fan of the books, and he was like, you know what? I understand why they made certain changes, but it still kept the spirit of the books, and he really liked it. I enjoyed it. It was a feast for the eyes and quite uh, yeah. captivating. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, we'll move on from The Crow. Yes, please. Okay, we'll blast through all this stuff. <laughs> um, DreamWorks is going to make significant cuts to their staff over the next few months. Many departments are being cut in half. And the creative staff on movies could be reduced by as much as, if not more than, 40 to 50%. This is Spielberg's company, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. What does that mean Mm -hmm. for the new Shrek movie that's supposed to be coming out? Aren't they making a Shrek 5? There was supposed to be, yes. They should leave Shrek alone. The first one was great. The second one was okay. The rest of it was just rubbish what's one of the shreks re-released this one the last last one one was pretty good yeah it was like their version of it's a wonderful life i thought it was pretty good and it captured the old spirit of shrek when he was like i'm an ogre kind of thing so i liked it the first Uh, one's still the best in my opinion uh, oh yeah manuel grell oh my friend literally cut in half it's hollywood baby (laughs) we're we're looking at the death of hollywood we're witnessing they they killed it and they killed it the more and more is, of these cuts are coming. When you see stuff like this, there's a lot of studios doing cuts like this, and they're cutting the wrong people. They're cutting the people at the bottom instead of the people at the top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think a lot of this. Inflicted. I think a lot of this uh, is part, uh, partly due to Last Voyage of the Demeter. Uh, that was a uh, DreamWorks picture last August, and it was a huge flop. Mm. Uh, they could have a $45 million budget and only made 25 in the cinemas. Well, Spielberg's in, uh, he's, he's, he's given into this woke stuff, isn't he? Because of his daughters and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. They probably, the uh, message probably went through the uh, go, films that he did. Good. Yeah. yeah. Puss in Boots was good. It was very good. Why did you interrupt me, Ian? What? Stop doing that. I'm talking and <laughs> you interrupt me. What's that? So annoying. Why there are you so are. rude, Brown? Yeah. It's a delay. Blame it on the delay. You sour lemon. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, should uh, we move on? <laughs> yes. No, I want to know if they've got uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Ian. What the hell? 
I am real curious where these cuts are going to come from at DreamWorks. If this is specifically coming from the Bill animation money. parts of the film, or of their studio, or if some of the other things like the live action uh, stuff. Jay Goodwin, I love Cranky Maggie. Key. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's he's good. Either There's no way. other iteration. He's... That's no. right. <laughs> okay, they should have made um, Galaxy Quest two. Yeah, it's too mm -hmm. late. But they just fucked old. about. Yeah, yeah. Alan what are they gonna dead. do? Yeah, that's that's right. Right. Gone. Well, they could yeah. they could have done Galaxy Quest the next generation, couldn't they? They could have. Yeah. No, they could they have could've. done a, a Galaxy Quest TV. They actually could have done a TV oh. series, but they just that would have been fucked good. about. And I think all the cast members would have done it as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it was because fun. They loved it so much. But anyway. it was fun. Mm. It was a fun movie. Yeah, great movie. Okay, let's move on. Yes. Okay. Um, kind of a sidestep. Spielberg confirms Ready Player Two in the works. He will only produce. I don't blame him. First one wasn't very good. Blame. Uh, yeah, the first one was I, kind of terrible. I really enjoyed Ready Player One, and I okay. read the book after I seen the film, and I really enjoyed the book. And then a couple of years later, I read the second book, and the second book really wasn't very good. No, mm. it's it's not. <laughs> it's not very good at all. No. And I did not like the film. Of course, I read the book first. Read the book first, and it went seeing the film it just it did not live up at all to to the fun of the book. And not to say that the book is a great piece of of art, <laughs> and a great piece of literature, but mm. it was fun, and I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the references. Uh, the film yeah. felt completely flat for me. The same here. I mean, it was okay. It was just, it just wasn't was Spielberg's. It no, um, it just wasn't Only Spielberg's. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think Spielberg's on only fans. <laughs> but I, I just think it didn't live up to um, what Spielberg normally does. It, it felt flat to me. Also, when they were having the chase and everything, it's really hard to figure out what was going on because things were happening oh. so fast. But yeah. Shining bit was good, though. Uh, Ready Player Two, Electric Boogaloo. There you go. I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> okay, shall we move on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Jurassic Park. Scarlett Johansson has been offered the lead role in Gareth Edwards' Jurassic, Jurassic World, World movie. Yeah, but the thing is, though, what more can they do with this? Yeah. Dinosaur eats people, dinosaur smashes up things, then they have a big fight at the end. And and dinosaur then goes on all the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, dinosaur has an OnlyFans <laughs> page. <laughs> There's the dinosaur gear. Exactly. So. <laughs> But, but seriously, what more can they do with Jurassic, well, Jurassic who World? Who snorted then like a pig? That was me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to be running. Jesus. Maybe they could, maybe they could double, up, double oh, up the yeah. dinosaurs um, on uh, the Gay Pride Parade. So they're all going down a city uh, street with all of the floats and everything. And then suddenly it all gets out of hand and chaos breaks out and people get eaten. That'd be really funny. I do, like, I do like Scarlet, but... <laughs> They're going to dress her like a boy in this film. You know Well, it. but what you else can it. you do with Jurassic Park? Exactly. I think it's been played you can, out. Uh, you can make it walk. You can do it for a modern audience. And you can say that they genetically Stick modify the dinosaurs. So they're only going to eat straight white men. And then you release them. <laughs> and all the dinosaurs are they thems. None of them yeah. are. Yeah. None of them, yeah. None well, of them that's kind of been done, though. Remember <laughs> in the first movie, they were all female, but then they were able to switch their gender between female and male. Oh, Tyrannosaurus yeah. thems. Mm. <laughs> well, once they uh, the eggs hatch, they literally put a chick in it, and then they can make it gay. They <laughs> run a and they, they run a sore ass. A literal chick. Rex. But what can they so, do with it, though? That's the thing. Well, you Derek have the Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus yeah, on OnlyFans. Rath Rath my Rath Rath my ridges are feeling very tingly. Are you going to say, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> what, Matt I was just going to say, gonna say Gareth Edwards is usually a good bet, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's got no chin, though, has he? Have you seen him um, lately? I was going to be... Hey, There's what? going to be people with creative control over this. It's not going to be in Gareth Edwards. What do you say, Matt? He's going to... Sorry. Yeah, go on. I'll shut up. I just said, how does that affect his directing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, know. Here you go. I like this, but I don't know how to say it. Pro, 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 pro nanosaurus. Pro nanosaurus. <laughs> That's like it. very good. Yep. Very good. Very good. This but is I'd... your OnlyFans okay. pterodactyl spreading my wings. They're feeling very leathery and papery today. There you go. As the sunshine illuminates through them. You like this? I love Scarlett Johansson. That's very oh, ASMR. She's gorgeous. She's oh, gorgeous. Yes. And they're going to dress her like a boy. You know it. 
you know they're going to dress like a boy. She'll be on OnlyFans, though. That'll be all right. Mm. How old is she now? I don't know. Late 30s, 40s? don't know. And she, like, late 30s, early 40s? Kind of yeah, thing. something like that. She's had kids as well, hasn't she? So. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Google says. She's 39. She's been oh, around wow. a long time. It's okay, mm. yeah. Still only 39. It's all right. Gareth Edwards is really good at making things um, really fast and cheap, isn't he? Because he knows the visual effects. Like That's the right, yeah. 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 So I mean, he'll do a good job. Yeah. So what's he done? Rogue One, and what was that recent sci-fi that he done? Cr creator. He did the creator. He did yeah. Monsters as Monster. well, did he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which was really good. Monsters. Yeah. Rogue yeah. One. Did Rogue One. Was it Rogue yeah. One yeah. he did? Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. that was, that was good. yeah. yeah. Creator Rogue was one. gorgeous. The story was not great, mm. but oh, the... The special effects and the shots in that were absolutely. I incredible. I bet there is a three hour or maybe three and a half hour cut of the creator. Which Did you? Is a lot better. He was on um he was on the corridor crew and he was talking about the effects they didn't create and he said that. What they did was they didn't plan any of the effects. What they did is they shot ordinary people doing ordinary things, and then they did the, the effects over them. Like there's a scene where this woman is separating peas in a in a in a big tray, and he mm -hmm. said, "If you would have." If the, if you were in a Hollywood movie and you said you want to do this, they'd say that costs X amount of money, and mm. why would you do it in the first place? And he said, doing it, it, it just looks natural that those robots are doing it. That's why he did it. Do you know what I mean? So he found ways of cutting the budget straight down in doing normal things. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's 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 a, he's a good he's filmmaker. Good. Yeah, he's a good filmmaker. <clears throat> okay, let's move on. Oh God! What is this? <laughs> okay. Did you know during the production of Return of the Jedi, Mark Hamill pitched the idea to George Lucas that Boba Fett was secretly Luke's mother? Swappers, wow. how do you feel about that? That oh. seems really stupid because Boba Fett had a man's voice in Empire Strikes Back. Yep, he did, mm -hmm. and he had an ordinary voice, and it wasn't a voice that was. The the what the voice that they re would that have replaced his voice, didn't they? With it's true, the guy? But, yeah, but um, Amara Morrison. Yeah, him. Yeah, the original voice was a lot better. But uh, Princess Leia's um bounty hunter disguise in Return of the Jedi had a distorted voice. So technically, maybe. Mm -hmm. It but the it's a bit weird though, because the person has a male body. So that yes. just wouldn't yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. Well, you I, know, and I a lot of, the oh, go ahead. Could have been touching. very butch. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm not touching that one. But yeah, I'm read it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say a lot of people have accused Mark Hamill of some things. Uh, being intelligent is not really one of them, so uh, yeah, that's yeah. a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, true, <laughs> swappers. It looks like one of your AIs, though, mate. Yeah, it must be. Well, it's not it's mine, but on. it doesn't look like it. Well, I'm yeah. just checking something the original actor. For Boba Fett, Jeremy Bullock. Yeah, he was he was only five nine. He wasn't big. No, and he had. He, I don't know who dubbed the voice, but it was like it was really good. But then they changed the voice and put an accent mm. on it. I just thought, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, yeah. didn't work. Yeah. And obviously, only you, fans you can do better. Invented then. True, Ian can do a better Boba Fett voice than uh, Tamara Morrison. He's, can I? He sounds exactly, exactly <laughs> like the original guy as well. Did I? <laughs> well, I'm going to give you. A, I'm not going to give you a, a, an on. example, but no, yeah, go, on, go on, go on. Seriously, yes, what was the line then? What was the line? Yes, she can. Uh, he's worth. God. He's worth a lot to me, or something he's like worth that. Worth a lot to me. He, what, I can't remember. Yeah. What was the line? He's worth a lot to me. Yeah, but he's, he's no, no good, good to me. Dead. Dead. He's no good to me. Dead. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. You, yeah, what if he doesn't saying, survive, yeah. he's worth a lot to me. That's the one, that's the line, isn't it? Yes, so, that's brilliant, that's pretty good. <laughs> not exactly like he's it. I'm sorry, that's perfect. That's I'd so walked good. in then, Jesus. <laughs> is, there, uh, is there anybody on the panel who could do a New Zealand accent? No, <laughs> <laughs> well, no not a chance. Uh, here you go, Smilex. If you ask Jeremy Bullock to do the voice arts conventions, he'd usually go for it. He was, um, he, he's dead he now. Was, yeah, he was in the James Bond films, wasn't he? I think he's he was, been in yes. three James Bond films. Yeah, Moon yeah. Moonraker, was it? Moonraker? Could it be? Yeah, Moonraker. Spy Love, Spy Me. Love Me. I can't remember the other one. He's been in three. But also, did, uh, Gerald Butler was in Tomorrow Never Dies. Would you believe that? What? Yes. He was in the beginning sequence in the boat. He has one line 
where when when the the boat gets um destroyed, Spartans! he's in the background and he says one line and it's, it's Gerard Butler. Oh, he, you it. probably know this. Dolph Lundgren was in a view to a kill. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. Yes, what? I did know that one. Yeah. Mm. So uh, that's not a known one though, Gerard Butler. He's definitely in it. So take a look again when you watch that film. Come on over those. Smilex has got his Smilex has got his little nose bent out of joint because Brown's ignoring him. <laughs> There's just so, the, the so many chats. I, I, and I, eager. Yeah, I can't keep up. Octopus Back in the day when we had two people watching, it wasn't a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but when there's 117 oh, well, that, amazing most people. Most problems, Brown. That's, yeah. that's when it was just me, you, and Rennie. And Brian. And, 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 and Swappers and Brian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. the OGs. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, right, we're getting on to the good oh, stuff so now. Oh, so we are not this moving on. One hour, 40 minutes. We're on the good yeah. stuff now. Okay. Disney has made... Where is this evil we need? 12 billion from Star Wars. Earned back almost three times what they bought the franchise for, which was 4.5 bill. 4.05. That as well. You know I... read good. I you would like to see good. the books. I would like <laughs> to see the books on that one. That's what I um I don't believe that. Yeah, well again, a... Brown's oh, referencing discussing film, folks, so uh there is that. Well, so. it's the internet, it's true. <laughs> George Lucas. Yeah. They've made twelve billion from the brand, irrespective of how shit they, they used it and whatever configurations yeah. they made out of it. And plus, most of that's just Grogu merch. It's not from anything creative or original or interesting. Yeah, that's fair. But if recently, the merchandise mistaken. has been losing money, hasn't it? They've been they've been putting it in landfills. Well, they put um, mm -hmm. Toys R Us out of business. And one billion was from The Force Awakens, which mm -hmm. the more that time goes by, the more I think we all agree that that people went to see that film to see the original trio of actors mm -hmm. again, Absolutely, more than anything I else. Did. So mm -hmm. that was just pure nostalgia bait based off existing. An existing mm -hmm. IP with existing characters. And so that was one billion right there. So this is yeah. nonsense. And and of course, this uh again, I do believe this is not net. This is just what they've made has nothing to do with what they have spent. And if you look at some of the receipts that have been going around, uh, there's there's some other YouTubers that have been talking about some of the receipts that have been uh found through various sources especially over in europe where some of the reporting is a little more open than what they do here in the u.s yeah. they can't quite swap the numbers around like they yes. do here with hollywood uh the uh the actual what they have made is at, once you take out how much they've spent is probably a negative number um, yeah i yeah, think I could, I could believe that's gross if you count merchandise as well but i, I really don't think that's profit I agree with this. No. Spilex, if they made Downs Cats, Parrot Monkey Spawn, and Inflatable Lizzo's, they'd be rolling in it, yeah? Yeah, they it would. It's true. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, look at the trajectory. So it started off with The Force Awakens a billion, and then de ever decreasing returns from the products as you go along, to the point where they're going to have a new Ray movie, which is how they're going to make anything, and then some other bullet bollocks products. <laughs> so the trajectory is down. Can't do it. I thought Force Awakens had uh, two two billion. Am I mm. wrong? Yes, it did. Oh, globally, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. oh, and we're still talking about it. Okay, let's move on. Oh, Jesus. No, it's Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins says <laughs> says Say she's she... back working on Star Wars Rogue Squadron. She's back she's working on Star Wars director. OnlyFans. Is she gay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, somehow. She's married, is she not? Is she not married? I think she's I married. I have no idea. Possibly. Well, as a husband. Doesn't gay. stop some people. <laughs> <laughs> married yeah. to who, though? This is... This is gonna be this is gonna be rubbish. You know it's gonna be rubbish. I I don't even know why they try and they're trying anymore. They just let's just stop. Uh, Looks stop like some people Wars, are bored please. of the subject, Brown. Sorry, I'm just watching. You know, um, uh, 
Dave Dave Cullen did a video today and he showed the fans. He was talking about the fans, uh, Star Wars um, films mm -hmm. that the fans have made. And some of them are pretty amazing and really keep to, mm. you know, real, real Star Wars. You should uh, watch I them. I, really good. I've watched I, three today. I think what I was said sorry, sorry, Ian, say that again. So, who said that? Colin. Dave Cullen. So Dave Cullen yeah, did a video, video today. Sorry. He was talking. Yeah, about, sorry. Yeah. The one in Ireland is really good. Re I, I need to watch those. Really, I've, really I've seen the Darth Maul one. Like I haven't movie. seen the Ireland one. But yeah. yeah, Darth Maul I've... one's terrific as well. Yeah. I said previously, this would be if if they were to do this movie true to the video game and not put any bullshit in it, this could be the Star Wars movie that would make money. But they won't, though. But they won't. Yeah. It'll be. It'll just star the, nice. the 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 bunch of middle aged fat blokes from uh, the Mandalorian and Book mm -hmm. of Boba Fett flying around the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cameo is from Jimmy Kimmel's Jimmy Kimmel's son. Yeah. Nephew, whatever it is. Kalal, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. you, know, you know it's going to be bad. Just, just just stay away from it. That's what I say. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Okay. Mm -mm. Nobody cares. Oh. Billy D. Williams, Billy D. on if he would return as Lando. Pay me a lot of money and I'll sell my soul. <laughs> Well, he's getting yeah. closer to death, so why the fuck does money. he care? Yeah. <laughs> He'll sell us soul. He don't he's give a shit. He's closer to death. <laughs> yep. He'll sell you malt liquor. I, He'll well, he's, sell you he's, anything. Uh, I, I, he's 86. What? what? 80, 86. I do like Billy wow. D, though. Jesus. Billy D, he's a, he's, a, he's, a good, he's a good actor. There you go. He's really I sweet. I met him in person a few years ago. and He's Larry, very, very nice. An honest man. Mm. Billy D. Williams. Only fans when <laughs> <laughs> that's what's a real Ian shame, right? <laughs> because they could have, when they did this, redid the Star Wars, they could have had him and Han Solo back. It is just oh, just such a shame what they did to Star Wars. Payment of an evil, <laughs> the robots <laughs> uh, well, talk the about robot, a lemon party. The robots <laughs> in the ship now. So, you know. What a wonderful avatar. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Waka waka waka. Get, waka, the, waka. get with the program, uh, Billy D. A... Shilliams. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you such a Scrooge, Brown? Good one. Because you wish it. So. You're a butthead. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'd take the money. Yeah, I would as well. In fact, yeah, for, so for, for, for that kind of money, it's like I would I would make a shitty Star Wars film and I would still bang Brown. Also, also, it's a lot what? of money. It's a lot of money to uh, for his family, isn't it? So he's thinking about his family. Yes, inheritance, you know? yeah. So That's fair right, play yeah. to him. Okay. Yeah. Shall we move on? Yes. Please. I think it's a sidestep, possibly. Oh, fuck. Mm, gold, no. Oh, is this is this um is this Matt something? Is it? No. no, it's not naked. <laughs> Only if it's naked is it the one that Matt did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy Ridley says there weren't that many job offers coming in after the ri the rise of Soy Walker. Oh, wow. It's oh, not right. that there weren't any. I remember finishing really and thinking, <laughs> "Oh, it's quiet and strange." Did she really say this? Well, common people's coming Again. in hard. Look at him. <laughs> Oh did, my did, god! Did she really say this? Yeah, it's Again, from yes. Variety. So I'm guessing it's a yeah, real article. Okay. Brown is That's referencing the, uh, uh, discussing film again, folks. It's the I usual it's reaction from variety, after though, source variety. The usual reaction after Brown finishes. Oh, it's quiet <laughs> and strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's very awkward. Take your word for that one, okay? There you go. Common people in the chat. Yeah, gave her lots of ones. Oh, apparently, yeah, she's she's a really nice person, but obviously, you know, she's stuck. You know, they have mm -hmm. lumped her into the Disney rubbish, haven't they? So. I thought she got a lot of undeserved stick. I really thought. Yeah, a People fan of the honor. Bolivian, apparently. And we're well, not talking was, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> this period. Well, who, well, where'd you hear that from, Ian? Could you possibly hear that from? comment? No way. That girl's innocent. <laughs> she looks innocent. 
Well, she's she on OnlyFans. Only <laughs> yeah, so that's what about to ask the next question. Is she on OnlyFans? <laughs> she's going to have to because her movie career is shot. So. Well, she was talking she's about the time after the rise of Skywalker, and that was during the pandemic, so no one was Wyland. getting work. I think. Yeah, that's nobody true. was. Uh, Wyland yeah. Pathifa in the chat. Art sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's she got, got a sideline she can set up there, obviously. What does she look like now, anyway? She's like that. Looking, or is she a lot? She's a lot older, obviously, isn't she? No, well, I mean, it's not that long ago, is it? What is it like? When was the last film? Like five years ago? Something like that. Five years ago, yeah. No, was it? No, when was the last one? What was the last one? Okay, uh, 2019. 2019. Oh, God. 19 minutes past eight in the evening, yes. Um, <laughs> Hi, Kira, for $20. Thank you, my friend. Have see what she looks a like nice now. day, Mr. Brown. Thanks, Crazy. $20. Thank you, my friend. That's Easy very nice. Day. Just it to is. drop in 20 it's bucks. It's just amazing. Yeah. Great. You should be 20, nice and give them what they want. $20. Less, like, jokes. Crazy Ridley. What she look like and now? They... Find out. Yeah. Just, are you all right there, Ian? <laughs> I'm talking to myself and finding out what she looks <laughs> um, like now. Yeah, look you at that husband. only fans. He... She married. Let's have a look. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ian. What the hell? Oh you? Steve. Oh, wait one, wait one. Steve. Twenty twenty-four. Have a look. Naughty. Oh. She doesn't look too bad, actually. That's an old man's joke, that. She's only thirty one. Yeah, what? she doesn't look too bad. She's got a her face. Is, she's got a lot of weight on her face now, but she doesn't look. Too she's bad uh, she's pretty from the right angle. Like from one side, she looks really yeah. nice. From the other side, she looks a bit like a horse. She <laughs> the, thing, oh. the thing is that she needs to have long hair to complement her face. The short hairs don't do don't do her any. No, any yeah, favors, yeah. No. yeah. The short hair voice. makes you makes you notice her, her uh, underbite more. Yeah, but there's a picture here with her long hair, and she looks gorgeous. So, yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Yes, please. <laughs> well, don't you like Daisy Ridley? <laughs> no, I don't like talking about planks, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, oh um, God. we'll quickly do the Oscar stuff. Seems like a year ago. Only three yeah. films won multiple Oscars this year. Oppenheimer, Seven, Poor Things, Four, mm. Zone of Interest, Two. Mm. I Are never heard of Zone of Interest. It's that war film thing in there. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, anybody bothered? No? Yes? No? No. No, okay. Well, let's move on. Glad the Zone of Interest won two Academy Awards. This is an outstanding film. I'm glad Barbie only got the one, and it was just could, for a song. Could, could somebody answer me this question? Seriously. Why does Robbie Downey Jr. always wear bell bottoms? Anybody notice that? Every time you see him on, on the uh, red carpet, his he trousers flares are weird. Them. It's what his stylist dress and dresses okay. him. No, but every time. I have, a, I have a theory. Right? Go on in. I didn't know about the, the flares, but, but something just popped out in my head. Maybe he has excessively hairy legs. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's also got lift shoes as well. He has shoes you, that lift him a little higher. Again, hairy legs. You know. Are you not confusing them with perhaps boot cuts? No, I tell you, I tell you what, right? Seriously, look it up, right? When he was at the Oscars, he had some kind of weird okay. trousers on. In every public thing, he has these trousers that have bell bottoms for some reason. It's just really weird. Don't I've seen him on set, set, right? Yeah. And he's wearing like platform shoes because he's got to boost his height. And I thought the flares were to accommodate the size of his shoes. That's Probably that's probably Does what it make is. Tom it's Cruise really weird. tall. Seriously, look up any picture of him on the red carpet. He's wearing these crazy trousers that just like looks like bell bottoms. I don't know if you remember bell bottoms when the I 70s. know what bell bottoms yes. are. I just don't yeah. recall seeing him in them. Well, go, take a look. Why are them not the like him. Take a look. Uh, Every Cephas. picture. What's wrong with bell bottoms? Nothing, mate. There's nothing. I'm just saying, why does he wear them all the time? According to Only IMDB. Fans? Yeah, he's only he's only five eight. Oh, maybe that's the reason. You want to see something amazing um, from Robert Downey Jr.? Check out his house. Oh, I'm pretty sure his house is amazing. Google that one. It's not what you expect. I'll tell you now. Um, oh. The quote, because obviously he won. I'd like to thank my terrible childhood and the academy. 
in that order. I'd like to thank my veterinarian, I meant wife, Susan Downey. She found me a snarling rescue pet and loved me back to life. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. I think that's a little bollocks. <laughs> oh, my terrible childhood. He well, was no, wealthy. He, said he, was, something... he, was, he was wealthy. He said something in an interview, um, or I think it was on his Instagram or something, uh, a few months back, how, like, you know, he's very grateful for his wife because she found him when he was in a bad place and she helped yep. to, quote unquote, nurse him back to life, so to speak. And I just, yeah, he speaks it, it so was an highly adult then. So yeah, he was an adult then. That wasn't his childhood. Well, no, he was a but drug like. Monster. I'm just talking about the sentiment about his wife, but you mm -hmm. know, um, I just think it's he just holds her in high regard, and I just think he loves her so much. It's very it kind. Does. Big out, Princess Fiona. I've met Robert Downey Jr. He's shorter than me. Wow. And how tall are you, Fiona? Seven tall foot. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> tall enough. He's five eight, and he needs to wear lifts, though. I mean, that that's actually pretty average. But uh, that's five, not short. It's 5'8 on IMDb. Tom Cruise is 5'7 on IMDb. <laughs> wow. Okay. But that's, that's what I'm saying. Five, nine. It's, if you look up any picture of him on the red carpet or anything, he's always wearing these weird trousers. It's weird. Why are you weird, staring weird. at guys' pants, Ian? You seem to have a no, strange preoccupation about I've this. just <laughs> noticed it when he was in the Oscars, and I was like, what the hell is he wearing? You're like, oh, I, what then... kind of pants is he wearing today? Just yeah, the chat ridiculous. are asking, has Ian got a foot fetish? Foot fetish. Do you nice. like the way that, that the, the trousers move and they, the material clings to his legs? Does he stash it from one side to the other? Is it That's you right. put it in slow motion? <laughs> Do you put it on a loop? See, you know, see nobody's looking it up. You see, you see, this is the thing. Nobody's no, looking not it up. Para fetishes. That's fine. <laughs> nobody's looking it up. To, I just to, don't to have to a fetish See if I'm for talking LPS. rubbish. And I'm not talking rubbish, mate. Uh, you, I'm weird. We uh, make it go. Um, <laughs> make it going full horny tonight. Is it's, um, yeah. even Smilex is saying tone it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't Brown think. And Ian, I don't know who's got it worse tonight. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're gonna. We're not gonna do ten slides in four minutes, are we? No. Christopher Nolan, what's he doing? Are we on for what's a bit of overtime doing? then? Are we on for a bit of overtime? Everybody okay for a bit yeah, of overtime? Yeah. Yep. As long as not Over time, folks. 30 minutes, yeah. 100 million. Bloody hell. Can we try to keep Ooh. it under 30? 29, 29. <laughs> uh, here you go. Christopher Nolan's final pay sum for Oppenheimer is close to 100 million. He gets an Oscar bonus, everybody. He gets a Brucey bonus. Can you believe it? It wasn't that great a film. Yeah, well, I mean, I liked it, but it wasn't like best again. film ever. This is this is why budgets are crazy because people get paid like that. That's fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Well, um, there it was much competition, take. was there? This yeah. year, there's ten so. Godzillas. There's ten Godzillas right there. <laughs> yeah, I did follow the advice of watching it in IMAX, and it really was worth it. Yeah, it is. It's good in IMAX. It's it's a pretty good movie. I don't think I'd watch it again, but it's a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. Echo, you didn't like it. Uh, I I didn't like it the first time, and I I made you know sure I'd revisit it just to to consider my opinions. And uh, better the second time, but I don't think it's a classic. I don't think it works on any profound no. emotional level. I don't I don't understand why Robert Downey Jr.'s performance is heralded as this major thing. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't like the film especially. Uh, Larry's not seen it. Oh, oh, well, I heard the media. Mm -hmm. uh, you should watch it live. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, sudden stomp. Imagine having one hundred million. Mm. Christ. Mm. Fat lobber. <laughs> explosions. Ten out of ten. <laughs> you know, more it, you want. it sounds sounds so much better put that way, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but here you go. Princess it's... phone. I've watched it three times. It's compelling. Oh, great word. I don't like contextually odd tits. Tits that are in strange contexts. <laughs> oh, Nolan on. is no Spielberg. Spielberg. It says no is my Spielberg. 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 Is my um, Timmy, you're welcome to come on one of these one someday, mate. Yeah, I miss chatting with Timmy. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. So, shall we move on? 
Yes. Okay. The Oscars 2024, or the 2024 Oscars, averaged 19.5 million viewers, the most watched in four years. Do you reckon they're lying? I was going to say, because I didn't even know that it was on. Maybe I just didn't give a fuck. But I didn't even realize it was on until the next day. It's like, oh, the Oscars were last night. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I, I got to know how they're counting this. Because, Ugh. yeah, if, it, if it's one of these phony baloney Disney Plus things where, oh, well, every watch actually counts as two watches. Because if someone had it on a television, then it, there were at least two people watching it. So we're going to count it twice. Yeah, mm, or if nonsense. you change the channel and change it back, that counts yeah. as an extra watch. Yeah, it probably was a lot of women tuned in thinking that Barbie was going to take all the Oscars home. Yeah, I was going to say, um, question, Barbie made $1.4 Why didn't it clean the board? Because the film wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah, but that, yeah, but it made 1.4. Doesn't matter how much money it made. It made the money because of the fact that all the little girls wanted to see it and all the grown women that grew up with Barbie wanted to see it. I just that's why it made the money. It doesn't Who, make it a good movie. Who's watched nope. it on the panel? Not me. Not I me. Not interested. I Echo, don't you, you... think I don't think I've seen anybody argue that it was a good movie or that it deserved <laughs> an award. Echo would have watched it. No, uh, and I <laughs> think the the problem what? is is Call that yourself a um, movie critic. Jesus. Mm, it's not uh, like it's not high art, and I think the Oscars generally still cleave to this idea that there should be you know cinematic yeah. artistry uh, as a whole, where it's more of a popcorn film. Mm. Yes, I mean not even Star Wars at that time with the biggest box office hit ever at that moment in time. They only won special effects, didn't they? they didn't win best film or anything like that. Uh, Smilex, Fiona said Barbie was compelling. Yeah, I saw that as well. Yeah. Oh, I like the new Avatar. He's Fozzie Smilex. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. great. Yeah, it's funny. Someone could learn from that brown. Yeah, Smilex is Smilex is transition block. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You want it to looks say very that nice. Swappers did a fantastic job with my avatar. Can you show that for a second, there, Brown? Uh, <laughs> I can. I love that it. That great. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. Put my one up, Brown. Snake Puskin. Hold Snake on. Puskin. Well, I'll just go through them. <laughs> 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 waka waka. You must have made it. Yeah, I like that one. It's quite nice. Oh. I'm saving the best while last. <laughs> That's brilliant. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. And there's obviously me. Oh, amazing. <laughs> look at this, everybody. I'm saving the best while last. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. yeah right <laughs> he tried to change it he boomered out at least he made the effort i Boom tried melted. yeah but it didn't um it, it just yeah. said it just said i had to log in i'm like what are you talking about login so when was that rolling gift from Kenny. fine young cannibals that? is that what we decided yeah <laughs> oh for uh, sake. yeah it starts singing she drives me crazy couple of mites sleep mightily generous super chats beyond generous yeah these people are so nice chat you guys are so amazing sweet. especially Akira. because even though brown didn't change his avatar like we've asked him I to do will a million when times Ruin comes back Akira. well that's gonna be like forever and a day i want to go 30 dollar but it, 30 dollars thank you my friend eh i'll make it an even 50 tonight <laughs> have a good night to the chat as well thank you my friend God, that's so generous. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. and... I was I was gonna do a super chat, but if I do one now, I'm just gonna look cheap, so I want <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Common people for ten pounds. Uh real money allegedly. I'd say Brown gets a letter saying he's one hundred thousand in debt, but he but he reads, You've just won a tenner mm. and goes about his day brown reads what he wants to read oh shit that was uh that was some real talk <laughs> you got pwned by a super chat dude what does pwned mean thank you common people what does pwned 
I like that word, pwned. You don't know what pwned is? No, that's what I'm asking. It's like a harder version of owned, so to speak. Yeah. Personal own, I think. It's called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But Very it's good. like harder, yeah. Okay, let's move on then. According to the At The Sun uh, shitty newspaper <laughs> in the UK, folks, <laughs> Killian Murphy... Mm -hmm. performance in Oppenheimer impressed James Bond bosses. Oh, get this. He's now the front runner for the role. What? Lord of shit. Don't believe that Lord for a second. Bollocks. Bull crap. Ian? He's too thin. Can't be Bond. He's too he's ugly. Too, too, Has he got an OnlyFans? <laughs> he's also, yeah, exactly. Is he gay? Has he got OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's married. he's married to a woman. Yeah, I know, and kids. I know. But also, is that, he, he, is that a, a front? He's quite thin, isn't he? And um, he doesn't yeah. really look bonded. You're saying he's his too wife's old. a beard. He's yeah. too old. Yeah, he's too old as well. I think he's pushing 50. Uh, it's got to be Henry. If they don't cast Henry, they're a bunch of idiots. They really he are. might make a good um, he might make villain. A good villain. Yeah, Bond yeah villain. I'd, I'd watch that. Cavill, well, I won't, but Cavill and uh, Murphy as the villain. Yeah, if you've good. ever seen, yeah, if you've ever seen Red Eye with him in it, he's amazing as a villain. He'd be super yes, he is. Yeah. yeah, that was the well, second thing I seen him in. I think the first thing was yeah. uh, Twenty Eight yeah, Years Later. Who was the girl yeah. in that one? Uh, in, Rachel in Red McAdams. Eye. Yeah, Rachel yeah, McAdams. yeah, yeah, she was, yeah. She was really hot back then as well. Oh God, yeah. My oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> and a good Scottish oh, name, Lord. McAdam McAdams. Tom McAdam. Um, Ian, yeah, they killed Bond. I don't give a shit. Well, they killed that version of Bond. No, 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 yeah. I don't care. You see, here's something, right? See, we've been seeing these rumors about who's and what. We had that uh, Henry Cavill allegedly as a version of Wolverine in the new Deadpool movie. That's I think yes, I, yeah. and I thought I thought yeah, that's that's Cameo. good. That'll be okay. Yeah, be right. yeah, but when they were saying it was a Daniel Radcliffe, it was oh fuck off, right? And I, I, it got me thinking. It's like I would like to see Henry Cavill in everything, <laughs> put him in everything, make him Bond. Well, make, put him in everything. We because... won't because you wish it, and that's it. Yeah, as I said strange. to you, there's a huge rumor that they are considering it big time now because there's no one around. Everyone that that's been discussed in Eon Productions. Have all got the thumbs down. Mm -hmm. I, I think Barbara is has got her sights on that guy that was in um, Kick Ass. Oh, but, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Johnson. I yeah, like him. I don't think he's a bomb. Yeah, everyone, he's... everyone is saying Henry, 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 Henry. Aaron Henry. Taylor Johnson is not masculine enough to be brown, uh, Bond for me. Is, so is, just... is cut though. Yeah, his yeah. marriage is too freaky. Yeah, because he's married to a woman like old enough to be his mother. It's, On the set of uh, the set of Nowhere Boy, he was eighteen, I think, and uh, yeah, barely turned eighteen, I think, when they yeah. started fooling she was around. Pushing, she was about forty. Mm -hmm. Oh, lucky bastard! That's gross. Didn't they said something. I don't know if this is true. They said it, he took her, her son name and got a yep. double barrel name out of it. Taylor yes. is her surname, mm -hmm. and then Johnson is his. So they both um, have Taylor Johnson. Is it is it Miss Mrs. Robinson thing? Is that what she did to him? Yeah, I think so. Because uh, like I think she was married at the time, and he stole her from her current husband mm. or something. I don't remember her boyfriend or something. Wow. There you go in Tom Shooty Gatwa has to be the next Bond. The worst oh. thing they can do is make Bond a black man. If they did that, they would lose so many, so many fans, and and they would cause um, havoc. They really would. The best thing they can do is get. Um, um, Cavill, uh, uh, yeah, get Cavill, but also get um, Campbell back, Martin Campbell back to direct as well, because Martin Campbell and and David Arnold, David Arnold, uh, Martin Campbell and um, Henry back, or Henry Spielberg and John Williams to do the music, because I saw an interview recently with John Williams, and John Williams said the only thing that he wants to do now is do uh, compose music for a James Bond film. That's one of his wishes, and he's ninety years old. Thank Give the man his, his dying wish, people, please. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Pascal is Bond. No, 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 no. no. Oh. My ideal <laughs> is I don't want Cavill. I want them to reveal it, and I want my reaction to be, 
who the hell is this guy? And then I want to be yeah, curious. Yeah, I want to know. That, that would be great, wouldn't it, if they cast an unknown and he was, mm. you know. So, but the thing is, though, again, right, they don't, yeah, they that, don't know that, what to do. That's never going to happen. They can't put that much money into an unknown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, 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 they don't really know what to do. They really don't know what to do. What? What's his name's almost dead? What's his name? Wilson's on what he's so old he can't even get off his chair for they God's sake. They don't know what to do and they've been making Bond films for nearly 60 years. Because, what? because of the way it stands now, the message and all that stuff. So they're kind of stuck. They they don't know what 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 just is right make to the do. fucking exactly. Thing. Exactly. Me and you are on the same page. Well, I'm not gonna watch it, but just make producers they, make the fucking thing. Fuck them all. Yeah, well, I'm they, not gonna they, watch it though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the money, the money has to come from the establishment, doesn't it? So, and also the distribution as well. So, they have to try and balance that out as well. So that's um, why they're stuck. Okay. The elephant in the room is effectively um, it's Amazon money as well, isn't it? Because uh, uh, MGM was bought by uh, Amazon. Well, Amazon. Yeah, and yeah. MGM are usually the uh, distributors, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. Why but... not get that bloke who's in that show, The Gentleman? Which one? Was that Danny one? Dyer. Like the, uh, Theo James, <laughs> like the guy who's uh, the lead actor in that show, The Gentleman. He'd be pretty cool. Mm. Um, here you go. Black Henry Lives James. or Black Knives. Henry Cavill, James Bond, directed by Ian. <laughs> I'd love to do that. To watch that. I'd love to do that. I would love it. But they won't let me do what I want to do. They'll 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 have a rain on it, won't they? So, From yeah. Dublin have a, with love. Two gangsters, uh, two gangsters talking for in a three minute monologue at the beginning, and then James Bond. Two gangsters, one cop. Two gangsters. Oh, what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Ian, you didn't get my reference to your film. But they weren't gangsters. Oh, who were Those they? Those two in the beginning weren't gangsters at all. No. <laughs> your film, so there yeah. you go. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Anybody see this? <laughs> oh, Messi. Oh, boy. oh no. Oh, this no. was still the Oscars, by the way. Messi pissing on Matt, Matt Damon's star on the walk. Of, I was going to say walk of shame. Might as well be. What? Do you know what? When I was young, um, youngish, and I went the first time I went to LA and I saw all those stars on the on the floor. I was so excited. I was like, oh, this is Hollywood. Blah, blah. Now I just look at it and I think, how pathetic. <laughs> mm. I really do. Yeah. I think everyone's becoming disillusioned with that kind of glitzy heroic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, see that kind of thing based. That, <laughs> that you know, have, having your star in the in, in the Hollywood walk of fame or whatever the hell they call it. That's like wearing a t shirt with your own name on it, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be this? a big deal. I don't feel like it's that big of a deal anymore to have a star on the uh, Walk of Fame. I mean, I've oh, actually yeah. been to Hollywood. It's it's pretty big, like yeah. the Walk of Fame. I it's mean, just, and it, it takes forever to find individual stars that you're looking for on there. Well, aren't, aren't half of them just uh, homeless camps now? Yeah, <sighs> that basically because like there's like so it's a. It's a big street or a long street, right? And there's some good parts and bad parts. But, like, you know, there's homeless people camped out off and on, especially, like, in the little, like, you know, if there's, like, a tiny bit of, like, a dark corner, <laughs> that's going to be taken, you know? So you have to be very careful when you go to Hollywood, like, what time of day, all that stuff, where you park. Um, so, yeah, I would not give a shit if I had a star on the Walk of Fame anymore. Uh -huh. But also, because... they have people that are devoted, don't they? And they would come and clean the stars every day, oh, steal wouldn't them. they? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, there are serious <laughs> time. They'll people still... are devoted, and they would He's clean the dog the from Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Let's move on then. Mm. Yes. Sydney Sweeney says she isn't bothered about Madame Webb. No I mean, one is. I was just hired as an actress in it, so it was just along for the ride for whatever. Well, yeah, she got, was going she got paid, didn't she? So, yeah. you know. Yeah, for yeah. some people, it's just a job. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah. And she's gotten plenty of publicity from it. So, yeah. oh, yes. Yeah. Mainly good. So, yeah. yeah. Well, someone, on, uh, someone on Slate wrote an article about how her boobs aren't really that big. 
And then uh, <laughs> under the, underneath the tweet from Slate, there's readers added context. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's class, cl absolutely classic. Oh. Yes. But, oh. Mr. Brown. Yes. Couldn't you have found a better picture than this? I mean, I, I thought we were friends. What's going on? No, here? that was the article. I can't. Yeah. Yes, the article. Isn't it? He's not great with pictures of women. We know that. Okay. Uh, I'll do it anyway. Okay. Oh, I, Madam I, I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Sorry. About well, that. Yeah. yeah. Checks in the mail. Brown fucked up. You know. Pretty, sh this. pretty sure everyone Thanks, who Remy. saw Madam Webb felt <laughs> cheated. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm fine. I don't need to see boobs. I have you go. boobs. Community you notes. Know, so. Yes, they are. Yeah, it's great, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Should we move on? Yeah, you go. For, yes, Sweeney's Bond girl. Yeah. Yeah, she might be good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Just move up. Here we go. Let's move on then. Ah, yes. Three. <laughs> no, no. Breaking, if you're a fan of the British science fiction show, Doctor Who, living in the UK, you will be required to either stay up at midnight to watch it on iPlayer or wait until late in the day to watch it on BBC One Channel, whereas Disney viewers in the US can watch it the day before. Neither. Who gives a shit? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Zero fucks, not going to watch it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. doesn't matter when they air it. Not, not gonna watch it. Not yeah. gonna do it. Don't care. Don't. Uh, well, that that rules out the woke people in Britain, doesn't it? Because they've got to get up early to be woke. They can't be watching things at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Unless if they're up late. It's all rubbish. Like, who cares? It's shit. <laughs> it's total shit. There's the sound, folks, of a fan that's broken. I'm sorry. No, they... We've had enough. There's no point in even getting excited or pretending like, oh, this might actually be good when you know it's just going to be a disappointment because it gives a shit anymore. Mm. It's all crap. It is a dead parrot. It's not even resting, folks. Okay. Speaking of. RTD. Showrunner said, at last, it's my great delight to unleash a whole new season of Doctor Who and Ruby Adventures together. Monsters, chases, villains, mysteries. A terrifying secret that's been spanning time and space for decades. What? That he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> is that the secret? Um, and has an OnlyFans. Terrifying. Yeah, that'll be the Only season fans. finale. Yeah. <laughs> OnlyFans. Didn't she get fired, Heather? She yeah, because she yeah. was a headache. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. yeah, diva. Well, well, the the according to my friend Dan, she got sacked because of she was coming in late or whatever. But I don't think that's the reason. I reckon it's more deeper than that. Yeah. She's got blonde hair. She's blue eyes. She's quite good looking. Yeah. You can't have that in today's can't movies. Have can't have that in today's TV shows anymore. Yeah. So that's why they replaced her with um, a woman of color. From she's India. not androgynous enough. That's what <gasps> I reckon. Wow. But we, I mean, we, you know, I mean, I can speculate all I want, but I don't care. I just, don't. I'm like Tommy Lee Jones. I don't care. I really don't care about this anymore. This yeah. is not Doctor Who. Not gonna Sorry. watch it. Yeah. Zero is fucks. It, it's not it's fast enough. The uh, I've been tortured and mangled um, by identity mm -hmm. politics to an absolute state of farce. Uh, and you know, as a side note, I had a huge crush on Ace. She was my favorite companion. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she was nice. Ace was pretty cool. What about Perry? Uh, oh, didn't yes. like Perry. Not a Perry. No? Yeah. What about Leela? I didn't like her fake American accent. Uh, only American. Ace. <laughs> Her endearing, round-faced, uh, cheerful charm. Leela was fucking awesome, man. She was awesome. Was, Slap uh... women. She used to kick people, <laughs> stab people. She was awesome. Ace was but married to Les, Les Dennis or something, wasn't she? Was it Les Dennis she was married to? Who? Ace? I no, I don't think so. Well, on the Who? show. No, in no. reality. Was it Les <laughs> no, no, Dennis no, no. she was married to? Sophie Aldred, yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, was she? Was he? Was she married to Liz Dennis or am I misremembering? No, it was Amanda What's a Face. Amanda What's a Face. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to check this out. I have to Google. From, Back to Google. From Britain's Got Talent. 
Amanda. Yeah. Uh, Hug and kiss? No. <laughs> Although I'll see what you did there. Very good. Very <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, Amanda or something. Can't remember her name. Hug and kiss, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You made me do it. I blame you. You made it. Thank you. Oh, oh, uh, hold, hold what do you think? Uh, what do you think the ratings are actually going to be for uh, Shitty Gatwick? Uh, as a doctor? <laughs> um, Zero. Well, well, it's going to be him. He's going to kiss a guy. You know that's coming. Um, mm. he's will, be... will it find an audience, though, or will it bomb? Oh, no. Well, there will no be audience. some people that watch it, but like, it's not going to be very it. big. It's going down the tubes. Nobody's going to watch it. Well, we saw look, what happened with the specials. I think it's going to break new records for low ratings. Just to, I, I reckon. I, I I do do look. It's it's aiming for a, a niche a niche audience. Careful right? and, with these buzzwords. And I and I think I think good luck to them. If this is what they yeah. want Doctor Who to be, then then you can have it, right? But yeah. this is not Doctor Who for me. And I I don't That's have anything against people who want to watch this kind of Doctor Who. Good luck, but I'm done with it. I, I can't be asked. I do have things Smilex against people. Sitting up as VCR. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do have things against people who want to watch and, and ruin Doctor Who. Uh, I think it should fail, and uh, I think they're chasing after an audience that's not there, just like all of these other modern films. Mm -hmm. um, they can suck it. I'm not going to watch it, and the <laughs> people who you think you're there to try and uh, bring in to uh, expand your audience are not going to show up. All they care is that you bend to their will. They're not going to show up for your film. Ooh. They're not going to show up for your show. Screw yep. you. Stop ruining my properties that we love. Just stop yep. it. Well said. It's too late for it now, though. That's the thing. So It is. I, the show's dead. Well, it's dead. You might as well just mm -hmm. say, let them have it. You know, just, it's just what's the point now? It's the Turdis. <laughs> the Turdis. <laughs> let them keep having their way with the corpse. I guess that's one thing to, one way you could, yeah. we could put it. But yeah, yeah. no, I, no, I would prefer that they didn't get their way with the corpse. They're going to fail and it's going to fail hard. Mm -hmm. yep. It'll be the end of Doctor Who for a while. Mm. Yeah. It needs permanently. So, so Google tells me. That Les Dennis was in a relationship with Sophie Aldred during his oh. first marriage. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So that's... did not know that. That's something new. I tons of added. Tons of added no either because I thought they were married. <laughs> oh look at this! Should have said Tardis. To... I'm not going to say the and representation diversity is shit. Oh, yeah, so that. don't don't bother watching it, folks. It's Look just gonna be that, a huge everybody. disappointment. It's already dead. You I can't didn't... shoot like what what damage is it gonna do if you shoot an already dead body? Right? It's already dead. You can only it's kill your, it so much. It'll twitch. Yeah. And that, what is it? The the when he tra when he transformed into shooty that was just madness. Um, really shall we was. sidestep then? Well, we don't really have a choice, do we? Yes, madam. <laughs> oh, we're sidestepping Get right in into the bin. bin. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Does anybody know what it is? Ooh, it should be you slides. for not doing the Fozzie Shoot. Bear oh. avatar. Doctor Ooh. It should be your ass in the bin. Doctor what? <laughs> Doctor Ooh. Is Doctor it bad, Doctor Ooh? We're, it's, we're sidestepping. It's Doctor Who. So I cheated. It's Doctor Who. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor what? But it should be brown. Brown owned it. <laughs> Doctor Who and oh, Doctor Wat. Fucking spoil spot. You know me. <laughs> Hello. Rip okay. the bandaid off, damn it! Right. What's this in week's the box? In the bin. What's in the bin? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bio generation. <sighs> we do, do. Is that subtle enough for you? Biogeneration yeah. has been it's nominated for a BAFTA TV award, folks. No, it hasn't. It's uh, I'd nominate it for a DAFTA <laughs> or <Rexa>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good for them. Backwards. RTD is doing exactly what I thought he would do. I'm not surprised. Hmm. I'm not surprised. I, I'm not surprised by any of this. Who voted for this? Who actually put them on the roster to actually be nominated for BAFTA? That's the question you got to ask yourself. What Are they gay? <laughs> and do they Are have no fans? <laughs> I bet you Trudy does. I probably, probably oh, does. look at that. Truly BAFTA. Very good. 
Seriously, it's absolutely <laughs> isn't it? Well, you know, Larry talking. does have a point. It looks like they might be bumping wieners. That's what I'm saying. They are. <laughs> these, these they things, are absolutely. These <laughs> things are done deliberately, right? And this and this is a kids' show, and they're trying yeah. to groom subtly groom kids. It's all right to 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 do this. It's all right to wear some stupid costume that shows that you're total. Idiot, See, you know. Something just popped up in my head, and I've got to share it. Though I probably should. Was it the doctor? <laughs> see, see this picture here. Mm. Right, you got them two standing like that, and you got them flames down there. It looks like an ad for gonorrhea medicine. <laughs> oh my mm, god! Yeah. <laughs> is is friction Does it causing burn? rashes? <laughs> mm. Does the clap hurt? <laughs> well, you would know. You're old. You've probably had the clap. You see, the reason You'll why be the reason why the generation happened this way is because. They could not let a white man give a black man power. That's mm -hmm. one reason why. And also the fact that Boom, obviously I'm Russell glad. T is gay and he's trying to push the agenda. That's why it's called by a generation. It, we're not we, we stupid. Worked, we we worked that it. out, Ian, yes. Mm. We're not stupid. We can see it. These people it's, think we're stupid. It's still shit, not. even though this is like a picture of bumping wieners. It's shit. <laughs> it's not good, no. is it? It's not even subtle. No. No. No, and then he's running around his tidy whities with some no. comically stupid hammer. Looks like it came out of a <laughs> Bugs Bunny cartoon. Yep. Mm. Yeah. And wax the TARDIS with it to make Whack a second one. Uh, he whacks the TARDIS with his hammer, you say? He does. Yeah, he does. It's yeah. it's Shot. it's on OnlyFans. It's, you can oh, wow. check it that's a, that's Shot. creepy as hell. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, this week's In the Bin, folks. BAFTA nominated, can you believe it, Dr. Pooh. Dr. Wallace. Yes. Doesn't and even did... deserve to go in the bin. It deserves to go in a shredder. That's what it deserves. Oh, so, yeah. 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 Where's well, Probby? When we... well, this is why I invite Probby. No, if Probby was go. here, we'd be oh, no. here two we'd hours. We'd be doing this two more for hours. a fucking oh, hour, Brown. Oh, no. Okay. I, as uh, much as I love Lee, we would be on this for an yeah, hour each want. single people, picture. The people I, I got to spend some time with my husband. <laughs> well, you can in a moment. Ego, super chat from Romeo, Romeo, Tango, November Zulu for five New Zealand dollars. Thank you, my friend. When Kojak whispered, there's just one more thing, and drove Rockford's Firebird to the streets of San Francisco to save Charlie's Angels, I gasped. Oh, that was a great episode of Columbo. It's <laughs> <laughs> actually Church, though, I think, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Pass. <laughs> That's Brown's way of saying, I don't know. I don't know. And finally, Waka Waka. Waka Waka. Okay. Um, I think I forgot what last this. Oh, 73. Oh, hence the, uh, yeah, Kurt Russell. Kurt Happy Russell. 73rd birthday to Kurt Russell. He's had a really great career, you know. Yeah, I mean, in my he? opinion. Oh, and he's got one of the longest lasting relationships in Hollywood. Yeah. He's still with Goldie Hawn, right? He is, yeah. yeah. He is, Four yeah. years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not it's married amazing. either. Not married either. Yeah, they never no, married. But, but no, maybe that's together. the secret to celebrity yeah. success is not actually doing that legal tying of the knot. And also, he's very clever. He he he, he lives in Canada, doesn't he? he is he on OnlyFans? <laughs> no. <laughs> God, I <laughs> he, hope not. <laughs> he, he abandoned LA because he knew it was okay. full of crap. No. So he left. Uh, I I, I yeah. think he's one of the coolest actors he is. ever to grace the silver screen. Yeah, agreed. Melvin? Thoughts? Thoughts, yeah. It's Cut Russell, isn't it? What can I say? It's Cut Russell. Mega Geek is right. And uh, still cool, even at 73. I think he's reached that stage. Remember when uh, Don Connery was Indiana Jones's dad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think Cut Russell's that guy now. When some cool character needs a dad, it's got to be Cut Russell. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah, maybe yeah. the new... Isn't he going to be in a new Escape movie? Is that not going to be a thing i thought i heard or read something about that uh, i think he's retired now he doesn't want he he said that he only he'll make only limited amount of movies now um mm -hmm. he's just yeah he's just relaxing um at the um, moment i think he did a interview with is it gq on youtube recently mm -hmm. yeah Doing he was this. in that recent godzilla thing wasn't he yeah it was in monarch yeah monarch legacy of monsters yeah. on 
Apple TV. It, there's one film that nobody ever talked. Well, people do talk about it. And I love that film. Every time it's on TV, I would sit and watch it overboard. I liked it. It was a I really love cute comedy. I think it's really it, funny. Isn't Very that how in. he and Goldie Hawn have talked? Yes. Yeah. It yeah. Is. yeah, that's how they met. Love Overboard. Yeah. I think it was a great I, movie. I like most of his films. I mean, if you go back, the first thing I remember seeing him in was uh, Elvis. John oh, Carpenter's right. Elvis John movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he just started showing up. It was the thing. There was that one when it was the used car salesman, the comedy. That was yeah. used really cars funny. was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. Well. That film. Yeah. And he also yeah. he also did a he also did a trial for Han Solo, I think, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Really? He did yes. I, yes. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I remember him from the computer wore tennis shoes. From uh, back in the that yeah. Disney film, wow. yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, he was a child actor as well. I don't think actor. I've, I don't yeah. think I've seen any of them. Stargate, but yeah, yeah, we yeah. got used cars. Escape from New York. He was the voice of uh, Copper and the Fox and the Hound. Was that the dog or the fox? Copper. I think it was the dog. That's the dog. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the fox yeah. was called Todd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, when he turned up in the Fast and the Furious films, he just he was just cooler than anyone on the screen when he turned up. You know, I think I can't remember which movie he was in. I think he was in two, but he obviously had a had a co-star and appearance in the first. And when he turned up, he was, you know, as I said, the man exudes cool. What can I say? You know, yeah. and also you know, let's not forget that film with Sylvester Stallone, Tango and Cash. Come that's on. right. Tango Pretty good movie right there. <laughs> Watch him in the that's documentary, it. The Battered Bastards of Baseball. Yeah. Mm. I'm just Bastard saying, are the, the best kind, I suppose. If you guys haven't seen him in Hateful Eight, man, he's you great, can tell man. he's I'm like not, getting up seen. there, but it's so he does so well in that movie. He does, yeah. I got, does. I got a fun fact for you. <laughs> Going in, in Forrest Gump, he was the voice of Elvis at the start. Oh, okay. Never knew nice. that. <laughs> Forrest, Forrest Gump. Uh. Yeah, man, just yeah, in the eighties, he was he was in so many great things. Big Trouble, uh, the, the, the thing, story yeah, of Big him Trouble in Little China, yeah. and Charles Bronson in, is awesome at me. Okay. What? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh. you told us that one before, didn't you? Big but, Trouble, uh, Big Trouble in Little in China, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's it's a good film. It's I mean, it didn't didn't make a lot of money good. though, uh, for for him. So the thing is, with when he teams up with um. Uh, Carpenter. Carpenter's films never ever make it the first time round. Only through up the years, they, they people realize mm-hmm. the, that those films are good. You know, the thing and the same thing with this one as well. And Escape so, from New York, another Carpenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't didn't do great in the theaters, but no. picked up a following. But the thing about John Carpenter was he kept dissing people in Hollywood, so his his uh, career didn't really take off because a lot of people didn't like what he was saying. So yeah. So yeah, you know, he kind of did it, did it, did it to himself, really. Here's a thought. Mm. See, in that uh, the solo, a, Han, a Star Wars story, the Han Solo movie. Uh, yeah. Lost money. Yeah, but see if they'd have put Kurt Russell in as Han Solo's dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, well, he, he didn't have a dad. He was, uh, according to the Solo story, he was. Um, well, he was. That's where they went wrong. That's where they went wrong. Kurt yeah. Russell is his dad, and then. Everything would have been good. Okay, uh, Fiona's posted the link to that Bronson mm-hmm. thing. Charles okay, Bronson. I think that is it, folks. In fact, I know it's it's. There we go. There it is. God. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, chat. You are wonderful. Great inter- interaction tonight. Super chats as well. Amazing. So blessed. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time. I will thank. The guests, Professor Artu. Cheers, mate. Cheers, cheers. Thanks to the chat. Great being on with everybody today. Great to see you again, Echo. Good to see you here, and good to mm-hmm. see you again, Rennie. Melvin, thank you. Emperor, cheers, Melvin. And thank you. Yep. Cheers, Artu. Uh, cheers, mm-hmm. Melvin. Nay bother. Nay bother. Thank you very big. Cheers, mate. Rennie, yeah. cheers. Uh, yeah, thanks uh, for having me back. Sorry, I had to take a bit of a hiatus with having uh, my husband's son in town. And then me and my husband got really sick for a couple weeks. So 
Um, I'm really glad to be back. It's good to chat with all of you guys. Good to chat with you again, Echo. Um, I really loved you singing that super chat. That was a lot <laughs> of fun. And um, chat, as always, you guys are awesome. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, all I got. Emperor Kipling. Yes, waka yes. waka waka flower. <laughs> <laughs> echo, 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 echo. Chamberlain, cheers, Echo. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Great um, to have you on, mate. Yeah. Uh, what have I got going? There's a um. If anyone wants to to join on the Echo Chamberlain uh, live stream on Tuesday night UK time. If anyone wants to to, to swing good. by. Um, Two days of summer left, mate. Mm. Great to have you on. <laughs> and last but by no means least, uh, this fella's got the best avatar like me as well. Mega Geek, cheers in. Hey, no worries, guys. No worries. Um, I think that is it. Um, I think B Sup's on tomorrow, Echo's on Tuesday. Wednesday is up in the air at the moment. I'm doing my best to get Ruin back. It's up in the air at the moment, folks. So bear with us on that. Um, we will be back at the weekend. So if we don't see you in the next couple of days, have a great week, everybody. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Waka waka.